and in the bed. Sleep for an hour. Good morning, my murderous friend. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I wake you? I am awake now, that is true. Please, forgive my intrusion. Okay, Silas, who are you? I said as if your name didn't automatically appear in the top right corner of my screen. Well, I may not... I may not know your role. I can see your name, but I don't really know what that indicates to me. I am the Watcher, my friend. And I've been watching you for some time now. But who watches the Watcher? I couldn't help but notice that you seem to have a knack for killing people. You're quite good at it. And I find that quality captivating. Well, they usually don't give me much of a choice. Why the hell are you watching me? Also, how'd you get past all my companions? Maybe they didn't perceive you as a threat? Watching is what I do. I watch for people like you. And when the time is right, I approach them. Well, I'm here now. Why do you watch for people who have killed? <laughs> I've seen that you've killed a lot of people. That's why I walked up to you unannounced and woke you up. Surely you don't keep a pistol under your pillow or anything. <laughs> I, they call me the watcher, not the thinker. Because I can offer them a home where they'll be accepted for what they are. Where they, you can be part of the family. And we offer payment for the killing that you have been doing for free. Really? If you're interested, go to Gamora and look for Malachi Death Song. He'll be waiting for you. Malachi Death Song, what a name that is. From the long line of death songs, perhaps? Okay, off we go. Maybe this mission would be appropriate for Legion Mike. Or, yeah, you know. Sometimes you run so long you forget what it is was chasing you. If it's good enough, maybe Zach and yeah, I could do it together. But uh, I, I think I saw that it was an incomplete mod according to the mod page. Still worthy of checking out. Um, Willow. Do you need something? Yeah, I need a traveling partner. Let's get going. Yeah, let's go. Anybody else? Uh, we got uh, Mike and... You know what? Russell hasn't stretched his legs in a while. Come here. What's up? Chicken butt. Let's get going. Lead on. All right, we'll grab Russell and Willow, and we will head to the strip. Why not? Ouch. Tripped over a minigun. You guys got weapons? What you got? Uh, you got your plasma gun, and you've got your freaking knife, because that, despite the fact that you are specifically told to use ranged weapons, you will always default to your knife. Kims are good. Weapons are better. Oh, you don't even have a weapon. Hold on, I can fix that. Uh, frickin' uh, leather armor, gyrojet. Frickin' use the gyrojet, why not? Here, have fun. I think I've got some room. Uh, that uses 13 millimeter rockets. Okay, I have no idea of what the ammo for that would be. Okay, never mind. Never mind. Let's see. A sledgehammer? No, that's not a willow. Uh, hunting shotgun. There you go. Got Zach's got plenty of ammo. Here you go. Sure thing. Hunting shotgun, 12 gauge. We'll see if he actually uses it. And pulse slugs, why not? There you go. Yeah? Nope, still the, still the knife. I, good call. Okay, he's... Where's that crazy son of a bitch, No Bark? Yeah, I can see why you tend to use knives. You don't seem to have many points in gun skill if that's how you think you wield it, but maybe you'll figure it out on the road. Uh, to the strip, which is right there. Oh, yeah. How do I keep my beret from fading? Yeah, it's simple. I just don't wear it. I actually got a stockpile of berets. I've killed many NCR First Recon troopers. Don't let Russell hear that, but I do. I do. That first one I found was on the road, but everyone, uh, every year I kill an NCR trooper and I take their beret just so it... Keeps me looking young and healthful. When am I going to make Action Abe an action figure? You know what I should do is turn Action Abe into a companion that walks around like Steve from Minecraft. Just the little blocky animations. Okay, who are we shooting? Who are, What? Why are... Oh, wait. Oopsie poopsie, lemon oopsie. I'm still just like a member of the Legion. Oops. <laughs> we all make mistakes. Got it. Nope. I, maybe I'll have to load in the previous save. Hold on. Yeah, we, we don't need to, to slaughter everybody on the strip. That seems unnecessary. We can we can work with this. Yeah, we'll just turn that off. And, uh, no, I, not, that's not the quest I want to turn off. Keep the quest on. Take the outfit off. Yeah, there we go. That's the proper outfit with the freaking Christmas tree. Well, you know what? I'm going to take this vest off so we can see the pine tree. It's festive. You know, maybe I sh Maybe I'll go into the... Maybe I'll open this thing up and... Gimp and change the uh, change the file to just have like some decorations on the Christmas tree here. If only I really knew how to do that. It, 
I think I need to edit like 14 mini maps, which I don't understand how that works. Uh, but now, now we can go to the strip and hopefully not get shot at or shoot at people. I took off the vest, the world has ended. Well, I've taken it off before. I've taken it off before to don a disguise. Or that one time I dressed as Zack and we traded outfits. There we go. Now no one's shooting at me. Also, last time I was talking about how I'd have to edit the the, the, the light bright mod. But it, as it turns out, there was a different version of the light bright mod that is compatible with the open strip. So as it turns out, I should probably just pay attention to a mod's description or consider the different files that are on offer and not just grab the first one to see what happens. Maybe getting some better modding practices under my belt would not be a bad thing. Because, uh, yeah, I didn't have to manually edit all this stuff. There's just a version of it that works for me. I Turn away from this rotten way of living, or choose to stay blind to the truth, but be ready to face the harrowing consequences. You're new. I'm... You're either from Death Song Brotherhood, or you're from the Crossroads mod, because you weren't here last time I checked. Slave... Oh! You're... Uh, is, am I supposed to talk to you to, to start the Crossroads mod? There is only one solution that will help us rise from this putrid state of corruption. Don't you agree, my friend? Okay, maybe I'm supposed to go on a mission for that legionary or someone on that quest line that deals with the preacher, because he is... Not responsive at the moment. There is only one solution okay. that will help us rise from this putrid state so of corruption. That's not who I'm talking to. Don't you to. agree, my friend? You've got quite the voice, but you're not who I'm supposed to be talking to. Into the Gamora. Was that Legion Mike down the road? Well, there is a Legion Mike. Welcome back to Gamora. At Cottonwood Cove. No, you're good for it. Here you go. Okay, so... Yep, here we are in the Gamora. Bosses don't like no trouble in their place. You are added by Simply Uncut. Yep, because normally there aren't female Omerta thugs, even though apparently there should be. What the fuck are you looking at? Because <laughs> they went through all the trouble of making both the male and female versions of the Omerta thug. Went through all, got all the voice lines, and then just didn't make any female Omerta thugs in the final game. And then there's this guy who doesn't even have a <laughs> super mutant voice. Bosses don't like trouble in their place. Nope, they sure don't. You got it. Busy bustling hey. place here. It's being on patrol. Looking to lose a few caps, huh? Just the place. Oh, am I going this way? Apparently I'm going to the Zawara. My buddies at Camp McCarran are breathing easy. Going They're past you guys. Leaders. Did you hear one of Tommy's cousins is a dancer here? Which Tommy? The one with the cleft lip? No, the one who joined the NCR. You know, Sadie's friend. Oh, okay. I never met her cousin. Is she hot? He's handsome enough. Ha! <laughs> I think well, I might just blow my last wad on some Kens and hookers. Are on their way from Why not just put on a roulette? Might as well go out with a bang. I don't know, I'm Probably tired of letting the house take all my money. Hey, at least the house will buy you a drink before it fucks you. And then they got up simultaneously. That's synchronized right there. Okay, so I guess... Be sure to check out the... Maybe it's not back here. Maybe it was somewhere in the, in the main lobby or in a different room. Gotta go... Yep, probably gotta go to take the elevator. The brotherhood stopped and uh, which floor? Well, it's not marked where I gotta go. We'll try the suites, maybe. Okay, apparently I gotta go over here. Are you gonna get mad at me if I do this? We're going to the lower level, apparently. When am I gonna get kicked out for winning all the chips in the casino? I, I might need to modify my luck stat before I try to do that. Who's this guy? I hear you. Shit. Business the is fuck? good. All well, the family's Whoa. got money. To Just happened. Gamora is where the action is. The Help! Who are you? Random gambler. Why did you murder this random gambler? Hell, people are just dying left and right whenever I play this game, and I have no clue why half the time. Just murder this. Did she? Nelson's back in our hands. Did she? I hope we can defend it this time. Was this door supposed to be locked, and she unlocked it, and she's not supposed to, and so you I'm murdered? Carrying any guns into the casino. No idea what just happened there. Hey. How long does it take for me to explode something in the casino? Well, probably Nelson's on average about hands. ten minutes. I hope we can defend it this time. Ah, there we are. New door, new door. Hello, Silas. Malachi's through this door here. He's expecting you. Malachi Death Song, eh? Well, uh, oh, I don't have a weapon. Because they took it at the gate. Very sly, I see. If only my companions didn't bring their weapons with them. You guys brought your weapons with you too, right? Yeah, you got your weapons. Okay, good. In case fighting does break out, they smuggled some in. And what the hell is that outfit? Very good. Come in, please. 
I've been expecting you for some time now. <laughs> like, like a, you know, more, what's up? What do you want? I want to make you an offer. Is it when I can't refuse? Silas tells me that you don't mind getting your hands bloody. And that's just the type of person I'm looking for. Is he right about you? Yeah, if my hands get bloody, I can just wash it off with water. I don't know why that's such a big deal. So, yeah, I'm interested. That's great. I thought you had the look about you myself. I can spot the type pretty well, given my line of work. Despite the fact that I've got teeth in my visor. Which is just what I want to talk to you about. You see, we are an organization that deals in getting blood on our hands. Yeah. We are known as the Death Song Brotherhood. And I think you would fit right nicely into our little family of cutthroats. Is that a Scottish accent I hear? Where'd you come from? So, are you interested? Also, you don't need to be afraid of rest. It's fine. I'm listening. Yeah, that's all good. What's up? Wonderful. Given the plethora of murderous intent in these parts, I've got lots of work to do and not enough people to get it done. There's an old man in Freeside who doesn't know how to keep his toothless old gums from flapping. And he's pissing off some rather wealthy folks. They would appreciate it very much if someone took the liberty of opening up some holes in that old bastard to let some of the wind out. I could kill him. Their appreciation comes in the form of caps. Lots of them. And you would certainly see your fair share if you took care of this for me. Well, I, I know you want me to kill him. Is that something you think you could handle? Is there an option to talk him down? I will take the job, but first I'll see if there is an alternate resolution before I straight up murder this old man. Fantastic. Everyone calls the old man Rusty Jones. Don't come back until they're calling him deceased. <laughs> Rusty Jones. You'll find Jones. him roaming around Freeside. <laughs> Alright. Going through Gamora can be such a hassle. You might want to take the back door from now on. We'll get your things back for you if you go that way. Oh, handy! Letting me smuggle weapons into the back door of the Gamora. That's pretty cool. You say his armor is a bit edgelordy. You know what? It's fine. Is it? Yeah, sure, but, you know, it's fun. It's different. It's un it's a unique asset, and it it's trying to do something a little different. You got the frickin' lion from Game of Thrones on a, on a black background. It's kind of unique, you know? Your face looks like the xenomorph, which is kind of funny. I'm, I'm totally down with this. Malachi. Steal Diane. Your knife's name is Diane, eh? Interesting. Well, I am leaving. Goodbye. And they have given me... The fact that there's two brotherhoods is going to be a little confusing. Let's say Brotherhood 2, Brotherhood Boogaloo. It's so much more convenient going through the sewer. No, I guess it kind of is. thought I was going to have to navigate this whole dumb sewer, but... There we are! Uh, is this added to the, the quest? The, the map, maybe? Like a fast... There we are. Gamora back entrance. That's handy. That's very handy. Initiating a bloody good time. Rusty Jones is causing problems. Uh, so, go shut him up permanently. Well, off we go, back to... <laughs> just take the Ve take the sewers out of Vegas, then head back to Vegas. Oh good, my quick select is still intact. Thank you, Stewie Tweaks. Bigger Battle Loops, you say that you recall that character is actually kind of neat, despite the edgy armor. Oh, I'm down for that, yeah. You say Herg Lurg Lurg, said this guy. Woo, Megan Ralph, then Guy Scuffy will get cap. Else die. Yeah, Vault 54, I believe it is. That's the one that Zack no. and I will have to get to eventually, because that's... I only played, like, the first few minutes of that mod, but it seemed like it was going to be a hoot. Hey, you're the one who's been going around helping Are you going to give here, me right? anything this time, actually? To keep oh, a gecko steak. Last time you gave me absolutely nothing. Kind of a dick move, but I'll take that over the nothing. So... We've got stuff we're not even allowed to sell, people. Only, only at Nick and Ralph's! I recognize your name, Spazcakes. Will I be trying out your companion mod in a stream? You know, I guess I could. Your companion mod is back here. I did have it, uh, I did put your companion mod in Novak for Zach We've to find, but I might as well try him out. Since you spent the time to put them together and everything, tucked away all the way back here at Cerulean Robotics, which does not have a fast travel point. Oh, so sad. I think I can still get to it. Pass all this debris added by it. the uh, Freeside mod. It's... Where the heck is that, actually? It's this building right here, right? No. This one? I have to figure out where they got re relocated Cerulean Robotics. Oh, back here, maybe. This might be where it is. This looks a little familiar. Yep, and there's this guy. Don't shoot. I surrender. Wait. You're not a secure Tron. Finding so many accented people today. Goodbye. Whatever. Cerulean Robotics. 
lot of rats in here. You gotta get past some rats. The Sega Genesis has blast processing. Super Nintendo. That's, that's, that, that, that's the thing, all right. That's a, that's what you said, all right. Genesis does. What Nintendo. All right. That should be the last rat. Genesis does. What Nintendo. You, uh, you want to come with us, robot? Little, mm. little bug? Is that a yes? I'm going to turn you into scrap metal. Nah, nah. You're a very strange looking robot. Let me take a look at you. Upon examining this strange robot, you notice some decals under its wings. There's a symbol of a mustached man's face, as Me? well as some text that reads Moto Bug SG-11. The bug seems small enough to stuff a critter inside it, but with its compartment being empty, it can be used to carry things for you instead. Marvelous. You, you could come in handy, so you should travel with me. Why not? All right, we'll keep traveling until your sound effects get a bit too much. Motorsin has given you the Moto Bug Man. Oh, your name's Motorsin. Motorsin, what's your right to knife? Yeah? Hey, I want you to attack enemies the moment you see them. That's all, let's get going. You uh, sound like word muncher sound effects, but uh, good enough for me. There we are, we got a little motor bug. Motorbug, Willow, and Russell. I mean, these are the three quintessential companions. It's a real shame, Motorbug. I did the companion tier list last week, and you missed out on that. What a shame. Punt the Pokemon. He has a mini quest, too. I think I saw a bit of that. We'll save that for later. Let's try... Oh, it's getting a little dark. It's, it's getting a little dark because I forgot to set time scale back. That's on me. We'll just wait until morning, and then we'll set the time scale back. Set time scale to three, and then I feel like... Cancel that early? No? I'm not getting interrupted? Okay, very well. Uh, so let's find this person we're supposed to be murdering. Rusty Jones. And see if we need to make him deceased Jones or we can convince them to leave. What exactly is the motor bug going to do at an enemy? Uh, maybe it'll ram into him at top speed. I guess we'll have to find out. Danger! You're trying to kill him, but you couldn't. Well, maybe we'll find more enemies for you to face. And then we'll see what you can do in combat. Are we going... We're not going into the strip. Are they out here? Ah, one of you, perhaps. Hello. Yes. Zalian, you say you're doing a, a full Sun Guy 2000 series of mods. You're on New Vegas Bounties 2 now after finishing The Inheritance. It's a good series of mods. Sun Guy 2000 did some great work. And you say Lion King is overrated. Well, I will, will respect your opinion. Even if I don't share it. Are you Rusty Jones? Hey there, young man. Little Rusty give you a word of advice. Stay out of the casinos. There are a bunch of lying cheats in there. You should take your own advice. How do you know that? I inquired. From personal experience, my friend. Why do you think this old man's sleeping on a bench? They took me for everything I had, and then threw me out. And ever since then, you've been bad-mouthing them? I will say nothing. Boy, you sure are a quiet one, ain't you? Well, you just be careful with these casinos. They're all rigged. And that's the damn truth. Not quite sure why they put a bounty on your head. You don't seem to be significant at all. Just an old man that's bitter that you're poor. I gotta go. Take it easy. Yeah, I don't see any other way to resolve this. I might, I might try to boost my stats and see if I can give myself some ability to pass skill checks. Hello, old Ben. What are you doing out here? Hello again. Howdy. Goodbye. Till next time. Yeah, I don't think there's anything else I can do other than kill this old man, so... Howdy. Mike, what is the secret to your powers? How do you keep the berry so red? What is the meaning of life? I'm just a chat dog. Woof, woof. This place <laughs> smells like whiskey and broken dreams. Yes. It, it's gonna smell like even worse than that once I'm done killing this old man. Am I... For some reason, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I can't... I can't un-first person aim. What's going on here? Well, I guess I'm just stuck in first-person aiming mode now, Mike. I'm not sure why I can't put my gun down. I can't even holster it. I'm stuck. I'm glitched. I can't move. What's going on? Caps lock. Numb lock. Shift me out of here. Help. Help. I'm stuck. Whoa. Whoa, whoa. Careful. Well, he's dead now. I, I might need to fast travel out of Can I... Can I put my gun down now? Is my... Is my mouse button stuck? What's going on? I can't... I can't put this down. Rusty Jones, like your three jet. Didn't even realize you were a drug addict, but apparently you were. Well, looks like that mission is complete. Let's head back. Okay. The issue must be that the alt button is stuck down. There we go. It was the alt key. I need to clean out my keyboard because the alt key got stuck down. That was the problem. Now we know. 
back to Gamora, heading to the back entrance. Hello, Softworks. Am I... There we are. Through the sewers. And we'll just head around here. Pardon me, excuse me. Uh, and, and to answer your question, Chat Wolf, uh, I wash my beret, and the meaning of life is to have fun. It's not just for girls. It's not just girls who want to have fun. It's also me. I heard about Old Rusty. Nicely done. Word travels fast. It's good to see I've got someone else who knows how to get shy accomplished. Speaking of which, I've got another contract for well, you. Give it to me. Hold on a second. It's a, uh, a comment from Ian. Sorry about that. Welcome, Ian. Killing is rude. You know what? It's, it's fine. It's fine. People know me. They know what I'm all about. That's totally understandable for the most part. And I'm using a mouse and keyboard tonight. I am. It's convenient when I need to immediately start punching in console commands and everything. But yeah, I, I tend to use controllers just because I spend so much of my time at the mouse and keyboard editing videos that my hand gets tired. But I haven't edited very many videos this week because Zach and I are taking a week off for real life issues. So I'm fine for now. I'm fine. Also, I'm, I'm a little tired of the controller because I was playing God Hand the other day and that game requires a lot of button mashing and my, my wrists are just kind of sore in that regard, so. Yeah, the rare instance of me preferring a keyboard over a controller today. So what do I need to do? Well, that's simple. What I need you to do is kill someone. That will really change. A young man by the name of Jonah Smith recently thought it'd be a grand idea to go falling in love with one of our wealthiest clients' wives. I need you to go explain to him why that type of behavior can be hazardous to one's health. Preferably with a shotgun. Do I have to go to a shot? I got this other weapon. My sources tell me he's hiding out in Good Springs. Get over there and blow his fucking head off. <laughs> Jeez. Alright, to Good Springs I suppose we will go. There's a mod that gives you a duster with a god hand logo on its back. Oh, that's that's a fun reference. What's the mod that gives you this weapon? Um, what is this? Hold on. Where's, where's uh, my weapon at? Rainier AK. Drop that. That's added by... Uh, apparently the mod itself is... Rainier AK? It's not telling me what mod it's added by, but if, I think if you type in Rainier AK, it might be the solution. Or maybe it's one of Riku Riku's mods. I, I picked up a couple of their... I picked up a couple of those weapons recently, so... Uh, let me just re-equip that. Uh, there we go. Oh, it's already there still. I didn't get unequipped. Good, 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 good. And away we go. Oh. So to Good Spring. It's been a while since we've been there. We'll visit the good doctor, see what they've got to say. So it does not seem like there's a whole lot of depth to this mod. Doesn't seem like there's anything I could do other than go to some place and kill a guy. Which is fine. Pretty basic. Could be some fun. If they're well-voiced. Or if they've got some fun stories. Shame if there's no... Uh, it would be a Want shame. Want to now for a drink or a bite to eat in the saloon? What do you say? Yeah, sure, why not? Also, Mooderson can have something to eat if there's a mouth on you, I suppose. Yeah, it's a shame that it doesn't seem to, to be a whole lot of role-playing elements to this particular quest, just going around and killing folks, but... It, it could still be a pretty fun time. We'd have a good time with it. Hallelujah for air conditioning. Feels great in here. Where's the air conditioner? Tell me. I'm curious. You! Damn, man. Can't you see I'm trying to keep a low profile? What do you want, anyway? Low profile in that bright red suit you stole from Eulogy Jones? I'm here to explain to you why fucking rich guys' wives is a bad idea. With this plasma weapon. The Death Song Brotherhood sends its regards. Nah, nah. I'm here to kill you. Unless you can pay me to make it worth my while to not do it. Or, you know, something else in that regard. I knew that son of a bitch would try some shit like this. Look, man, you do what you gotta do, but you ought to at least know who you're doing it for. Yeah, who am I doing it for? Explain. Letting you live is just not an option, Jonas. Everybody gets a few last words, I guess. What are yours? Man, you just don't know how nasty he is to her. How much he hits her. He doesn't even give half a shit about her. She's just a fucking trophy. Well, you shouldn't have fucked that trophy. I mean, it's amazing he hasn't fucking killed her yet. I got no doubt he will, though, if I don't get her out of there soon. Maybe you should have done that. Look, man, I've got a plan in place to go save her. We move tonight. Oh, okay. I promise you, if you'll just walk away, I'll kill this motherfucker and pay you double whatever he was going to pay mm. you. The, the Death Song Brotherhood may not be happy to hear that I'm doing this. I guess I can't stay in the way of love. Letting you live is just not an option, Jonas. Well, well, I'll say this and see how he reacts. Letting you live is just not an option, Jonas. Is that so? 
Bring it on, motherfucker. Ah, didn't even plead for his life. He just wants to... Hey, I'm not I'm hard taking time. You can't just play sound effects at him. You actually gotta do something to cause damage to his body. I guess you don't have to, because I got other folks here that will do it, but... And your gun is called Lola. Is that an extended magazine on a 1911? What is that? Let me see that. Lola. Oh, I dropped it. Oh, no. Yeah, I mean, I don't know much about firearms, but that might be an extended magazine on a 1911. Wouldn't say it's got a chrome finish. It seems a bit yellower than usual. Wait, is that a Breda, actually? It might be a, might be a Breda 9mm. Might not be a 1911 like I thought. I don't know. Like I said, I have no idea about guns. You'd think after several, so many years travel with that, I would have picked a few more things up, but nope, I'm still just as ignorant as I was. I'd stand back if I were you. That thing's... Well, I warned him. Or at least I tried to. Brass finish? Is that a thing people do? Ah, making your gun brass, eh? Alright. It's the Browning High Power. I... I... I can't believe I didn't realize that. Actually, I can, because as I said previously, I don't know firearms. I right, wait, am I, am I not supposed to go this way? It says I need to go through a building. I wonder if not killing it was an option, but uh, he did not want to talk to me beyond, you know, he gave me a story and then he didn't stick to it. Where he was immediately intimidated and... All right, you assholes. You know, I kind of like this, uh, this barricade you got set up and everything, but it would be nice if you let me actually use it. You know, I've got reputation with the NCR. It'd be a lot of fun if you let me use this NCR passageway. You dicks. I'm not taking a lot of damage right now. Wait, wait, I still got... I still had god mode turned on. Oh, that's gonna make combat a little easier, isn't it? Well, I could use my gun. Where's my gun? There we are. I'm making Russell kill NCR soldiers that are... They kind of deserve it. They made this whole, whole door. They won't let me go through the door. Kind of a rude thing to do. Okay, you were actually doing damage? Okay, it does fight. It does actually do a thing. I'm not sure what it does. It sniffs at them and they die. But hey, it's hard enough to make a unique model, let alone a unique animation. But no. Should have left God mode on, chump. That's what they, they said to me as I died. Should have left God mode on, chump. And now we're back here in Good Springs. I think the target is still dead, though, so yeah, we can head back. I said, why don't you give me an option to not kill this guy? And then they did, and then I didn't take it. Come on, Mike, make up your mind. Do you want this option or don't you? I want to have the option to disregard that option. That's what I want. It's, it keeps on telling me to go in there. You know what? I'm just gonna take the gate and they can they can just kind of deal with it. Continuing patrol. All right. <laughs> just kind of snuck right on by. You say he uses Securiton, Securitron melee attacks. You'd use custom animations, but you haven't learned animations for this game. Yeah, I don't fault you, Spaz Gags. It's... Uh, I imagine it's hard enough. I've, I haven't made any unique models. It, it, that seems intimidating to me. Unique animations? I don't even know how many of... I, I don't know how many models are to do that, honestly. I'm not even sure how you would animate him, especially to attack. Maybe, like, give him Buddy Chicken's animation. He does a whirlwind attack! Spins around in a circle! Whoop! Oh, and I'm going to the front door, apparently. Should have gone to the back door, but did not know where the... Welcome back to Gamora. Yeah, 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 yeah. Did not know where the... I, I guess I could... I know where the, uh travel point is that you just traveled to it just because my brain doesn't work without waypoints so russell willow are you happy that i'm bringing you along to kill random people for a bunch of folks that sweets third floor maybe wait hey. who are you you looking for a good time uh i i'm already on a good time killing folks your loss which is this way yeah 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 make him do mario's hop on them yeah something I can, that might work. Oh, where, where am I going? It's telling me to go the other way. Wait, am I in? Hold on. Fucking local map, maybe? What the hell is that? How do I get over there? How do you, we're just gonna you know, skip over there. That was so much easier. Ahem. So, Malachi, I'm back now. So, Jonas finally learned that fucking people's wives will get you killed. Great job. Thank you. Thank you very much. Here are your earnings. And welcome to the family. Go talk to Bruiser, and he'll give you your gear Who? and show you the ropes. Wait, where's Bruiser? Bruiser's in the safe house. Here's the key. You'll need it to get in. There's a trap door in the floor behind my desk. And the trap door behind your... What? There are some abandoned tunnels that run below the strip. The safe house is in them. I've no doubt you'll have no trouble finding it. I didn't notice a trap door. Maybe I'm just not observant. It's very... Very camouflaged. 
I'm not sure if that always was there and I just never noticed it or if it added after you talked to me, but interesting. Initiating a bloody good time, complete. What if I uh, just kind of yoinked Diane and... You didn't even mind, yeah! Yeah, yeah, that's fine, that's fine. When am I gonna let that sweet beret up for auction? I could. I could do that. Hey, I got this beret. I used it in a video like three years ago on my vlog channel and haven't worn it since. That's right, I got... There's Diane's knife. That's a serrated knife. Is that a unique knife? Oh yeah, it's a unique knife, alright. I got that uh, icon right there. Also clipping through my thumb a little bit, but you know, just how it goes sometimes with modern stuff. Hey, robot! How you doing? Pointed your guns right at me. Very intimidating. Visitors get free funerals. Well then. There's the uh, death song insignia. Going this way now. Hey, you guys got custom armor. How you doing? You should probably report to Bruiser Initiate. The front entrance to the safe house is back the way you just came from. Tobias, eh? Keep your distance. Try to flank them. What mod is doing this? <laughs> and then I got kicked back out. Very well. Door to death song, Brotherhood Tunnels. Yeah, I guess that's where I'm going because I came down from that way. No, that's, that's where he is. So I gotta go this way instead. Come in, we love moving targets. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay. My, oh my, a lot of skeletons in cages here. Oh, what the, hi! What are you doing here? Large humanoid figure wearing a sleeved hooded robe. Hello, I'm Goris. I don't recall seeing your face in this area. Not many visitors here in the sewers behind the, yeah, the, the behind the Gamora underneath Vegas. Yes, I am new here, actually. Pleasure to meet you. It's incredibly rare to see new human faces around here. If you have any questions, I'll be glad to answer them. So, there's something strange about you. I'm not quite sure if I understand what you mean by that. I'm not sure either. Just a hunch. I'm not perceptive. Wait, what's, what's that over there? That's a turret. If you were supposed to spawn an enemy... I don't think we're in the area you're normally supposed to be. <laughs> He's normally in Jacobstown. Hello again, what's up? I have questions. Go ahead. What do you do here? In Jacobstown, which is where we definitely are. I am a wandering scholar, a student of the way- Yeah, you roam all right! You've been roaming around. I am studying the culture of the super mutants, particularly the Nightkin. You know, the ones that are dead in these cages. They're definitely not human skeletons, right? Uh, how goes your research? Not good, they're all dead. What can you tell me about Jacobstown, if I ever go there? It was Marcus's idea. Okay, well, uh, how about traveling with me? I heard that you helped Marcus defuse the situation with the NCR mercenaries peacefully. That is very noble of you. Very well, I shall take you up on your offer. Besides, I'm done here. In the sewers. Cool. Let's go. It would be an honor. Okay, welcome to the team, Goris. This is, uh, Russell, Willow, and Motorson the Moto Bug. Didn't intend to pick up all y'all, but I'm not going to complain that you're here because you're all a colorful assortment of characters. Goodness. All right, well, Goris is the intelligent Deathclaw from Fallout 2. Indeed, yes. Get my own gamer subs flavor. <laughs> I think I'm... Oh, what the hell? What? What just happened? I got kicked out. Why am I... <laughs> all right. Things are a little weird. Things are a little glitchy. It's a very odd day today, I will say. Okay, we'll advance a bit more before they kick me out. You better hope you know the password. Or you're gonna get one between the eyes. Get him, Goris! Uh, what password? Wait, no, don't shoot me! Chill out, Initiate. I'm just fucking with you. Mal told me you were coming through. Malcontent? Where's the safe house? Where's the safe house? The safe house is through this door. You'll find Bruiser standing outside Mal's office. You better go talk to him. He's not exactly patient. I am on the way right now. Yep, you got your turret right there. You got your machine gun pointed right at me that I can't interact with. You got your nice, uh, I wouldn't say crimson, maybe a bit of a maroon tint to your weapons and armor. Maroon? It's more of a burgundy, I think. Yeah, we'll go with burgundy. Nice burgundy armor. Nice hula girl. I wouldn't keep Bruiser waiting if I were you. Then I won't. I gotta go. All right, I'll be here. Probably for the rest of my fucking life. <laughs> Probably don't have any other scripting. You're gonna be here indeed for the rest of your life. Motor sin follows me and Goris. Actually, Goris is hanging behind. Oh wait, there we go. Ooh, your uh, iconography made out of blood. I see. And a bunch of overturned cabinets. Okie dokie. Well, that's a nice custom door here. And we go burnt umber. Ooh, that's another way to describe it. And you got some nice tie dye doors here. Ooh, a lot of artworks. Cool custom assets. Really nice. Thanks for the bits, Long Wolf. 
paying tribute to Jojo and Pete who rule with an iron paw. May their treats never run out and their rule never end. Indeed. Oh, speaking of kitty cats, <laughs> that cat's got a knife. Victorious terminal, victorious skull, victorious butter knife. Are you victorious? Hello. How long have you been in the Brotherhood, sister? The, the sisterhood. That song, sisterhood. I've been with Mal for about three years, love. Ever since I came out west. He's given me a good home here, where I can put my talents to good use. Mike's a little quiet. I want to turn that up. Sorry. Any uh, rules that we have to follow? Rules? Well, don't steal other members' things. Or kill other members. And don't be an asshole. That's about it, love. But being an asshole is fun. Why are you back here by yourself? I assume you're here by yourself. I haven't really checked out the other rooms, but uh, yeah, not very many members. Why do you ask so many fucking questions? Don't worry about what I'm doing. Worry about what Mal tells you to worry about. Okay, I gotta go talk to Brick, I guess. Speaking of Brick, <laughs> some co that's some Motorola Brick phone quality audio. <laughs> Thank you, Commander Rook. See you later, darling. Adios, amiga. Keep your distance, by the way. Try to flank them. I'll hang back and give you some room. Okay, what companion could be adding that? Good to see you. Well, it could be Motorson here. It could be that song, Brotherhood. Although that wasn't on... I wasn't running into this issue last time, I don't think. So, I also don't think it was Goris, because Goris was installed last time. So, it could also be... Oh, Crossroads. Yeah, I, and I tried to install the Crossroads. It could be a problem with the Crossroads, crossroads mod. And as we've seen, that thing isn't working proper anyway. I can't really make any progress in it, so... that That's probably added by the Crossroads mod. It's a nice artwork here, though. Let me turn off... Yeah, it's, it's not bad. It's, okay, so... Dark is too dark and bright is too bright, but yeah, yeah, nice artwork back here. Deathclaw with a spiky head and the Skyrim horns, eating a yo-yo. Oh, that's a clock. Yeah. Art. Yeah, good stuff. I'm gonna brow- ooh, that's pretty cool too. Like, 12-eyed skull. I'm going through your terminal, you don't mind, yeah? You might- you might mind. You say Motorson's distance topics work well? Yeah, it wouldn't surprise me if it's at- if it's a problem with the Crossroads mod, because as I've said, I've tried to play that before, and it wasn't working then, and it doesn't seem to be working now, unfortunately. I really would like to make progress and try it out, but, uh, yeah. Oak's door! Nobody named Oak back here. Hello, nice hamster grenade? Can I steal this? Was that a Chinese tutorial book thing? Yeah, Spec Ops training manual. Yoink. Oh, no! The bookend skull! It's falling over! I, I can't... Maybe it could go the other inch, but nope, it's got a, I don't know, that's there, that's a, that's a butt right there. Wilkes's room also is not here. Wilkes's terminal, New York. Might as well peruse that while there's no Wilkes in here. Got, is that an enclave poster? Bad sectors found in boot block. Yeah, all right, broken terminal. Doesn't work. Nope, nothing there, all right. Bruiser, that's who I need to talk to. You got penguins with swords, that's pretty cool. A lot of fun, unique artwork down here. Super sledge, but no bruiser. Okay, maybe through this door then. The only remaining door. Ooh, you got some spiky black and burgundy armor. Ooh. And this guy right here with an eye patch or those sunglasses? Nah, nah. And this person right here. That's you all got some cool looking armors. Oh, there's even more of you. Oh my gosh, there's so many of you. I gotta talk to all y'all probably. Hey, nobody gets into the armory unless Mal gives the word, so do us a favor and get fucked. What happened in the armory, Oak? That shit was nothing you need to worry about. Besides, if you keep your ears open, you'll know as much as everyone else in no time. See you later, then. Be safe. Okay, yeah, so not every character is voice acted. Hey there. Hey there. Oh, this one is. <laughs> hey there. What did you do before you joined the Brotherhood of Steel? I used to run with the cons back in the day. Before they went to shit. Yeah, they've all left Red Rock Canyon now. What can you tell me about this brotherhood and why they're a much better organization to work for? It's a good fucking group. Mal runs a tight ship and keeps us sailing smooth. I got no complaints. Except their tanning bed doesn't go all the way up. What do you do for the brotherhood? I waste whoever they want me to waste, man. It sure beats the fuck out of trying to cook jet in a radiated camper. Okay, I should go then. See you, Morgan. Around. Goodbye. We'll see if somebody else is a bit more interesting to speak with. Are you home? T Where's Bruiser? You Bruiser? What's up? What's up, Dallas? Goodbye. See you around. 
Maybe I'll talk to you later, but first I gotta find Bruiser to actually make it. progress on this quest. Wow. Wow. You gotta you really gotta pitch that audio up, man. That is not good. I'm sorry. I could I could not even hear you. What's up? Stone. What do you think about Bruiser? And also where are they? That is one tough as nails motherfucker you're talking about. Motherfucker. Bruiser is as solid as they come. And he's a damn good leader. Mal couldn't have a better man to be second in command. Where is said man? Okay, uh, what do you think about Wilkes? Between you and me, I'm not really a fan. He's kind of a dick. Ooh, you hear that, Wilkes? I've known that dude since I was a kid. But I still don't trust him. Couldn't say why. He just rubs me wrong. Not very good at giving massages, eh? Very well. See you later. These guys must be soaking wearing all black. Well, that's why they're inside. Maybe they take off their armor before they, they venture out. Also, I forgot which one of you is Wilkes. That's Oak. That's Morgan. Oh, God. This place goes on for a while, doesn't it? How's it going? Armory is inaccessible. That's a nice artwork there. You! So, you're proficient at killing old men and little Nancy boys. That doesn't fucking impress me, Initiate. I gotta say... Here, take your gear. Get suited up and report back to me as soon as you're done. New armor? I've got a real job for you to do, so be quick about it. Okay, I, I will put this on. Although, if I'm being completely honest, with a name like Bruiser, I assumed that was like, like a nickname where you'd actually be super ripped and you'd specialize in unarmed or melee combat. Uh, I wasn't imagining NCR General's outfit but burgundy. That's not what I was imagining. So this armor you gave me, the helmet and mask, and the initiate armor, I will put that on. How are we looking here? Okay, not completely awful. It's basically combat armor, but a little darker. Got a bunch of insignias. <laughs> just, just putting four bullseyes on me. Shoot me in the shoulder pad right there and there. One on the front, right, right where my heart is. Shoot me right in that heart. Also, big old bullseye right on my forehead. Any on the back? Oh, yep, that, that's where my spine is. Shoot me right there. Or one of these two skulls, you know, either of those skulls are a great place to mark me. I'm wearing your silly armor. Wonderful. You're actually capable of dressing yourself. Your mother must be so fucking proud. She is. Now, let's see if you're capable of something that fucking matters. This contract isn't going to be a walk in the park like the last ones. Today, you'll be killing some fiends. Five of them, to be exact. These junked up yahoos killed a client's family. Now you're going to kill them back. Maybe I can talk to the fiends? Nah. If there's... Do you think you can handle five guys, Initiate? You certainly look like you can handle five guys. Is that a sex joke? How dare you? I'll kill you. I can kill five guys, yes. I like that. Now go put your caps where your mouth is. And don't let me see you back here until the mission's accomplished. How will you know? Would you like me to bring back their severed heads? Get a move on now, Initiate. We don't have all fucking day. Just start throwing heads at this guy. He seems like he deserves it. I'm going into your room. What you gonna do about it? Shoot me? Think safety. Wow, you got a think safety poster in your bedroom. That looks like a freaking cigarette advertisement. <laughs> nice bunny with a handgun, though. Safe to do? Ass. Safe. Oh, ask. Okay. Thought it was like, uh, you think she's safe to do? No, you risk pregnancy and STDs. Ass, though. Safe. That's, yeah, that's what you're, that's what that says, right? God, this goes on for a while. All right. I think we reached the end of this room. A lot of pinup posters in here. Jeez, all right. We got, uh, well, I guess a lot as in two. Yoink. You must be the new initiate. Oh. Nice to meet you. I'm Griffin. I guess Bruiser must have given you a contract, huh? Yes. Well, before you go heading through Mal's office or Gamora, let me do you a favor. Yeah? If you go through this door here, there's another hatch that takes you outside the strip. Your safe house key will unlock it. Okay, useful. Which, I, 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 thank you. Very helpful to be able to skip past all those living zones. You're welcome, Initiate. Now, if I were you, I'd go take care of that contract before Bruiser loses his shit on you. He already did! Oh yeah, one more thing. Be careful in those tunnels. Feral ghouls get in from time to time. Oh great, cool. Well, still easier than going through all those loading zones. More people out here, though. Hey, nice bit of poster. Hey, you. What's going on? Castle, man, that's a nice red visor. So many of you guys are out here. What do you think about Malachi? Mal is one scary motherfucker when he's pissed off. But he's trustworthy, and he always has our backs. Just don't fuck with him, and he's cool. 
Malachi. Yeah, very well, very well. I gotta go. See you later. Alligator. Is that a needle on your back? What the heck? That's just a regular plasma weapon, but it, uh, I never really noticed. It's just a freaking needle at the end of it. Yikes. Okay, is this the door I'm taking? Yep, that's the door I'm taking. Wait, okay, this is the this is the barracks area. A lot of pinup posters. A lot of pinup posters, and also you. So you're the new FNG. That's me. I'm the fucking new guy. What the hell is an FNG? I don't know military slang. It means you're the fucking new guy. I guess you never served in a military setting. What's a military? Is that something you can eat? I'm a courier, actually. I have not put points into intelligence. Why do you ask? Oh, so you're the one who got shot in the fucking head. Glad to see you're still with us. Yep. <laughs> the new fucking new guy. That's, that's right. Let's see. Uh, how do you like it here? You know, while I'm shining this bright light on the on the uh, Sunset Sarsaparilla vending machine and reflecting it directly back into your eye. It's good. I do what I was trained to do, and I get paid for it. I got a place to sleep and people who watch my back. What else can a girl ask for? Maybe a, a room all to yourself so you don't have to sleep with eight other dudes all farting and scratching, maybe? Also, diamonds. Are you fucking kidding me? Fuck diamonds. Give me caps every time. I hate that currency. Give me the other currency. Anything I should know about being in the, the Brotherhood? Not of Steel, of Death Song. You do know how to kill people, right? Yeah. I also know how to look for alternative solutions when the mission calls for it. But yes, I do know how to kill people. Well, there you go. What the fuck else would you need to know? I don't know. To, to, a way to talk my way into a location so I can kill said target. I gotta go. See ya. See ya. Wouldn't want to be ya. Death Song Knight Helmet. Neat. Ha, you guys got some fun armors too. Oh yeah, you got some more unique people out here. So many people here in this organization. So you're the new guy, huh? You're really making a name for yourself out there in the wasteland. Not sure I'd like that much attention myself. I like to keep things on the down low. I speak very mutedly so no one thinks I'm important. That way I can slip in undetected. Except for my bright red armor with spikes protruding out of it. What do you do here? Same as you. I kill motherfuckers that need killing. And I really enjoy my work. Do you? You seem so blasé about it. I mean, it's not that I don't like people. I just like money more. Money can buy people, except at the Crossroads DLC, which is not working for me. What did you do before this? I used to be a caravan guard. I did that shit for a long fucking time. You know, you'd think the being an assassin was dangerous. But I'll tell you, this ain't shit next to being a guard. Yeah, being an assassin means that there's no one trying to kill you, generally. I only get shot at three or four times a week these days. And that ain't nothing compared to all the fucking fiends I used to have to deal with. Oh, I imagine there are a handful, those fiends. I gotta go. See you around. Sounds like someone grabbed somebody's mob and gave them a mic. Eh, it wouldn't surprise me. By the way, keep your distance and try to flank them! I'll hang back and give you some room. Thanks, I appreciate that. Let me turn off the lights before I head on out. Blow up your generator. There we go. And now I should be heading out. Hey, what's up, brother? Wilkes! Ah, people don't like you very much. Probably because they got poked by one of your many bits and bobs poking out of your face. So the Omeritas don't mind that your hideout is under their casino? Are you kidding me? They're our main client. Not only do we take care of their pest control, we guard the back gate. Mm, I don't know about that. We do work for just about anyone who will pay, but the casinos are definitely the main source of our contracts, and the Emeritus paid the best. Wasn't there a request I did for the Emeritus where they they already had someone they paid to get dirty work done? But ah, whatever. I've never seen power armor like yours before. It's one of a kind, as far as I know. Yeah, I certainly haven't seen it before. I mean, I've, I've seen that general armor type, but not that color scheme. Absolutely. What do you do here? Bruiser and I help Malachi run things. He keeps the members rolling and I keep the contracts coming in. Well, what have you done to uh, attract their ire? Some people don't like you. I should go. See you later. Alligator. In a while, crocodile. Where's the exit? Gotta go. Ah, I could have rhymed that. Where's the exit? Gotta Brexit. There we go. Yep. Uh, oh, I am in the armory area now. Wait, am I talking to you? No, you're a skeleton. <laughs> Can't talk to you. You're dead. Heavy riveter and camera. You can keep those two things. Just skip, skip past here. Defend your country and list today. Nope, make me. Just slip it on by. Hey, there's the guy with the machine gun pointed. Oh, wait, no, you're someone new. That, I, we'll just pretend that that's armor you're wearing. That 
And and not a very very clear distinction between two different skin tones. Yes, maybe that's Bobby body paint. Yep. That yeah. That's just how it goes sometimes. What's up? Chicken butt. What do you know about Malachi? Mal is kind of fucking scary, but I know he has my back, and I know not to fuck with him. How long you been with the Brotherhood? About six months. I just got promoted to Breathtaker. Bruiser says I'm finally ready to kill the mold in the shower. <laughs> Breathtaker. Okay. That motherfucker is such a hard ass, but damn it if I don't just love the shit out of that old bastard. I really don't understand your rank structure, but I... I how do you like the Brotherhood? I fucking love it, man. It beats the fuck out of being a fiend. You were a fiend, eh? I can't believe that. Actually, I can believe that. Yep, that makes a lot of sense. Yeah, I used to run with a group of those shit stains. They all got themselves killed trying to take on a ranger. Dumb fucks. So how do you end up here? You, you, they, they knew that you were good at killing people, so they said you can join our group as long as you dye your armor black. Then you'll fit right on in. The ranger that killed my old gang was on Bruiser's hit list. I happened to be there to meet him. Right place at the right time, I guess. So you know Bruiser very well, do you? I'm not sure anyone knows Bruiser well, but I do know he's an awesome motherfucker. He used to be a sergeant in the NCR or something. You should probably figure out that or something part. Word is he got kicked out for being too hard on the privates. If he was about ten years younger, I'd let him be hard on mine. You know what I mean. <laughs> Yeah, I get what you're saying. I know what you're laying down. I gotta go. See you around. See you around town. Is that, uh, is that the exit right there? Is that door I'm going through? That's a private room, so I'm not going there. All right, don't kill me on the way out. You got your gun pointed right at me. Have fun on guard duty. It's on. Whoa, hey, what the hell? We got some ghouls, all right. We got some ghouls. All right, we're good? Yeah, we're good. That's right, put your disguise back on. They weren't lying about the ghouls, all right. <laughs> they weren't lying about them ghouls. And out we go. So here we are. Man, it's bright out right now. No, let me let me check that. There we are. So we are not too far from the Monte Carlo Suites. So here's the hatch to the tunnels we're going to go through. Good to know. So now we are heading out to the fiend area. I killed the fiends, all five of them. Yeah, like, there's, there's only going to be five fiends right here, right? Surely only the five. Kill 20 or 30 to get to them. This way! What's your helmet today, Willow? What you singing? What's that gunfire? What's, uh, what's going on over here? Oh my, there's a body flying through the sky! Are these guys Brotherhood shooting fiends? Are they killing my quest target right now? That's a dead fiend. Are they hostile Brotherhood? Are we sh we're shooting at them? They don't... They they seem fine. They seem cool. So yeah, there's some dead fiends out here. Hey, what do you need? Random Brotherhood Knight added by what? Simply uncut? No, just it's supposed to be generic apparently. Normally you guys aren't aren't Hello. wandering around out here. Typically Brotherhood of Steel folks don't walk beyond that valley, especially during the day. So yeah, you're not at. You're not vanilla. You're added by mod FF00, whatever FF mod is. I don't I don't know. So, yeah, you're not supposed to be out here. Did you kill my fiends? No, I, I'm probably going to the, the vault area first. Yep. Over here, maybe. The fiends that live in this pile of rubble? Wait. Oh, wait. Motherfucker. Who, who, who are you killing? Who are you shooting at? Let's go. Oh, more fiends. Yep. Okay, yeah. So, yep. That's all we got, right? No more? Genesis what Nintendo? It's loud. There you go, put your armor. Okay, there we go. We're good, we're good. And then we're going in the sewer. FF is just designated for spawn things. Oh, okay. You think I would have known that. What's down here? Is this the, the fiend hideout in the sewers? Wasn't aware of this location. Must be added, right? What must be a new addition to your gang's hideout down here in the sewer. No traps for me though? No, nothing in here. Level one. Hi. What in the fuck are you doing in here? This is our turf, motherfucker. I'm here to kill folks, but let's see if I can talk you down. Oh, yeah. Now you're gonna burn, bitch. Just like all those lab geek motherfuckers. Wait, what? Lab geeks? What? What are you talking about? I don't know what you're talking about. I'm gonna hurt you. You're gonna like it. That's, uh, like that. one. Slug. Had a unique name, and then he died. Died like the slug he is. Nuka grenade. Grab that. 
and a level one security key card, and Titus's note, and uh, your armor. Oh, that's the weapon, the broiler, huh? What's your note say, buddy? Titus's note. I found this fucked up underground bunker place. I saw this ghoul in a lab coat going into the sewer, and I followed him. It looks like there are a few of these lab geek up to, they're, they're hold up ahead. It might be a good hideout once we waste them all. There's some seriously weird stuff in here, man, like these big pod things with those dead freaks in them. I don't know what they are, but we might be able to sell them for something. Flax. Okay, so Flax might be the name of another raider we're killing. Let's try going through here, maybe. I got the level one key card. Let's see if I can use it. Not. Okay, so we went in through there. Okay, I think I may have gotten turned around. I need to go down. Is there a door around here I can go down? Maybe this door right here. Yeah. Hey, Contact. raiders. Ra okay, we got... Should be the other three raiders here that we're killing. Oh, I thought you were dead. Excuse me. Oh, there's more raider over here. Clops. Not Cyclops, just Clops. Okay, things seem a little quieter now. Oh, here's all the dead geeks. Wow, what were you guys doing down here, scientists? Bunch of scientists down here, you killed them for what? A bunch of random generic stuff around here. Terminal I can't access. Can't access that computer. This door right here has... I can't access that computer. Thanks for the bit, so long, Wolf. Here's some... <laughs> Funding me since I'm in the military again. Thank you for your pity. <laughs> oh, jeez. Where am I? Is, is it just got to kill those guys and then we're done? No actual... Not sure what those brainiacs were doing down here. What those eggheads were up to. Notes didn't say. No clues. But they're all dead now. So whatever they were working on does not seem to be important. Oh, maybe I can use this terminal and find out. Dr. Thomas Schneider. Finally, we've had such a rocky start with this whole project, and after all these weeks, we're just now getting started with preliminary experiments. Unbelievable! So far, the subjects seem to be tagging to the pods with little to no stress or trauma, and I'm fairly certain that we'll be able to move on to the generic genetic enhancement trials soon enough. Damn, the system just got shut down. Okay, let me just skip through this a little bit. Subject on a line, which, uh, okay, subject showing stress. What, what are you experimenting on? Ah, data loss. Memo from Dr. Schneider. In the mainframe area, attempting to debug the system. Okay, so I didn't really learn what you were doing. I have no clue what you guys were working on still. Just down here in the sewers, working on something. These guys are all dead. That's what I came down here to do, is kill them. Uh, whatever you were working on, I still don't know. Maybe I'll find out in the future. Excuse me. See, I, I could just use the console command, move to QT, but if I spam that too much, I might miss some kind of event that's supposed to play out, so I gotta be careful not to do that. Here we are, in the wasteland. Now I can leave. Heading back to... Bruiser! Tell Bruiser the fiends are all dead. And I have no idea what they were working on, but dead they are. And dead is dead. Wait, that's the strip. I want to go... The other place. Where is that? Uh, Monte Carlo Suites. There we are. The Death Song Brotherhood Escape Hatch. I believe that's where I'm headed. Let's get out of my way. Pardon me. Excuse me. Hello, Mikey. Hope you are having a good day. Smile. I started a playthrough on Resident Evil Village. Your playthrough made you want to get it. Made you want to get it? Well, I hope you're having fun with that. I hope you're having a good time. I, I, Zach and I are big fans of the Resident Evil series. Uh, he enjoys Village more than I do. I wasn't a big super fan of Village. It was fine for me once, but... Oh, God, why? Goris, I'm blaming you. This is your fault. Why did you do this to me? Can I... I can't do it. I can't talk to anybody. Hold on. Let me see if I can TCL my way out of this jam. Nope. Not quite. Collision... Can't, can't even rotate right now. Why don't we load from before I came down here? This is not the right save file. Nope, that ain't right. That is not correct. Oh boy. Why don't we instead move to QT after all? Yeah, we'll just go ahead and do that. That was a weird bug. Nope, that ain't right. Uh, COC Novak, get me the hell out of here. Is this, does this fix things or what? Oh, God, help me. Nope. <laughs> Things are just fucking broken. And my last save was about an hour ago. This ain't right. This ain't right. Oh, no. Even the autosaves don't help me because it just spammed the autosave. Okay, I guess we're loading from back here, maybe. Why don't I dismiss a few of these folks? 
Okay, okay. Well, that that's unfortunate, you know. Uh, I guess we have been streaming for two hours, and Al is on, so maybe we can go, get, go ahead and end the stream, give him a raid. I'll get us caught up next time, back to where we were. Maybe I'll turn off the Crossroads mod, since that seems to be causing a few errors. I'm not sure I can blame what just happened on that particular mod, but I'm sure that if I do disable it, it might make it so it's not trying to turn everyone into a companion. It does, as much as it seems to be doing what I would want it to do, you know, making a mod where your choices matter, it, it's not working for me, and it, 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 I think it might be causing some issues. I think that might be related. I don't know for, for sure, but I'm free to speculate. How am I liking this new Fallout game that I have never played? Oh, I'm having a blast. I'm having a great time. Late sub. Hey, thank you, Grafish, Grafishus. Thank you very much for the, the Prime sub. Much appreciated. Thank you for the four months. Yeah, I will try to stream again tomorrow. We can do a bit more because I would like to see more of this Death Song Brotherhood. I feel like we've only just scratched the surface of this mod, and there's perhaps a bit more for us to be able to get to. This mod definitely seems fun. Yeah, seems like it might be a bit simple. I can't judge too much because I just did, you know, one or two missions for this group. And I didn't even... Yeah, I, I kind of want to go back and see. Maybe that's, what we'll, maybe that's what we'll do next time. We'll just start the entire mod over again, and we'll see if we can actually assist that guy who allegedly had sex had had sex with a mafia's wife, and see if he was telling the truth, or maybe he was just singing a song to get out of being killed. Maybe if we spare him, something different would happen. I would be interested to see if that's the case. Hey, thank you, Al One Koro. Thank you for the raid. Welcome, welcome. We were just about to wrap up the stream and raid Al, so hope you're having a good evening. Hope you had a good time. Hope your uh, week has been fine. Hope your weekend's off to a good start as well. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Fallout the Frontier episode, The Betrayal. Oh, were you playing, uh, uh, you were playing The Frontier, eh? Almost at the 10th go-through. Wow, you really enjoyed that then, don't you? Fallout the Frontier's got a lot going for it, although it sounds like you might be doing the NCR campaign. Oh, of my playthrough. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, I can understand liking uh, the Fallout Frontier, but I can't understand liking it so much you put up with the NCR quest line ten times. It's a bit much. It's a bit, I did it twice. It seems like it might be a bit much even in that regard. <laughs> no, no. You think I should open up I should open up Motorson's inventory? Okie dokie. Yo, Motorson, give me your inventory. Hey! Nice sound cue. Nice. How many hours do I have clocked in New Vegas? Well, I can't tell you exactly because I do not know. Steam definitely says I've put over 500 hours into it. And, you know, why don't we just go ahead and wrap things up? I'll just drop a quick save right here. I'll come back to this in a second. Yeah, come back to this next time. Maybe tomorrow. But we'll go ahead and wrap up the, wrap up the stream right now. And before we do that, we'll check out uh, Steam. What you got to say? We got uh, New Vegas. It says I have put 2,000 hours into the Steam version of New Vegas. 2,007 hours on New Vegas. Uh, in addition to 1,000 hours in the GAC. Damn, that's higher than I would have anticipated. Yikes. And of course, this is not including the amount of times I spent... Uh, it's not including the amount of time I spent in New Vegas on my PlayStation 3, which is the very first platform that I played New Vegas on and beat it, and then I got all the achievements. So maybe on top of this 2,000 hours, stack another couple hundred. It's, it's a lot of time spent on one game. Kind of crazy. Kind of very crazy if you think about it. Yeah, 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 yeah. You think Zach's going to like that motor bug? Hopefully he has a good time. Hopefully so. So yeah, we will... I will try to return to this tomorrow, and if that fails, I'll always come back on Fridays, because that's the day I tend to stream. But seeing as how we didn't get very far in this mod, and because the crossroads kind of gave us a few setbacks, we'll, we'll see if we can do a bit more progress on it tomorrow. See if we can... Then again, it does seem like the, um, the mod itself was unfinished according to the mod page. But still, Death Song Brotherhood does seem to have more going for it than I thought. Could be a, a fully-fledged adventure. I'm not sure if it actually has a... A finish line, but we can have fun with it as long as we can. <laughs> Willow staring dreamily at the edge lord. Yep. Well, we should probably drop Willow and Russell back off because we got two new companions. Apparently, I don't know where. Maybe I disabled Goris for now. Try to figure out which of those mods is causing the errors last time. Zach and I not seeing eye to eye on the TV series is perfect. I yeah. <laughs> 
just how it goes, you know? All right, why don't we bounce out of here? Uh, yeah, I gotta, gotta go through this hatch. I'm probably gonna talk to everybody again, because I, uh, I got sent back a little bit. I had that glitch that wiped about an hour's worth of progress. We gotta skip through a little bit more here, nice and quick. Yep, passed all this stuff. You better hope you know the password. Baloney Bob, one, two, three. Keep your distance, try to flank them. Nope, that bug is still there, apparently. What password? Chill out, initiate. I'm just fucking with you. Mal told me you were coming through. Where's the safe house? The safe house is through this door. You'll find Bruiser standing outside Mal's office. You better go talk to him. He's not exactly patient. You say going with the Fallout 4 era for the show feels like an odd choice? Well, the, I'm sure they want to be able to allow viewers to transition into players. And what game is the most approachable Fallout game these days? Fallout 4. Like, it's the most recent one, barring Fallout 76, and that's... That's a can of worms that not everyone was prepared to deal with. So yeah, but making it in the same era as the Fallout 4 game makes a lot of sense. At least to me. Oh, door button is down here, that's right. Yeah, I don't have Gorus installed, but apparently he was not causing the issue where I have that prompt that pops up. Not sure what's causing that. Are Zack and I going to be in the Fallout TV series? Uh, I guess if they decide to reference us, but... As far as I know, no. All right, we already checked this place out last time. Yep, just poke around a little bit, doop doop doo. Hello again. No one gets into the armory unless Mal gives the word, so get the fuck out of here. What happens in the armory? What happens in the armory stays in the armory. Nothing you gotta worry about. All right, see you later then. Also, keep your distance, try to flank them. I'll hang back and give you some room. Thank you. Oh, shit. Apparently, don't take that option ever. That might be fucking things up. Why didn't I see that coming? Why didn't I see that coming? All right, not taking that option anymore. That's, I, I don't know what that is. We're just gonna have to ignore that. And pretend it's not there, because it's causing issues. I don't want to get kicked back out here again for a third time. Hello oh, again. Yeah, uh, password's butts. Bye-bye. And down. Am I, I'm not naked still. Yeah, I got my, I gotta, I gotta get my armor. That's right, I gotta get my armor from these folks. You, talk to me. Hello, darling. Hello, Victoria. Uh, any rules to follow? Rules or, uh, are you... Rules? Well... All right, yeah. I already talked to all you. Do, do, do. Why do you ask so many fucking... <laughs> Fair enough. How long have you been on the Brotherhood? I've been with Mal for about three years, love. Ever since I came out west. Put your talents to good use. Your talents are killing people. Keep your distance. Oh, crap! No, damn it! That was the only option! Uh, also, Goris is back. Okay. You know what? Why don't I take a quick break and disable Goris just in case he's the culprit, eh? Why don't we just triple Q our way out of here? Let me just pop open Vortex and we'll just tell Goris to hang back. Keep your distance. Just in case he might be causing the problems. I don't know if he is. We'll also disable Dayglow, Gr Dayglow Drifters. I don't think there's any NPCs that you can recruit in that game. We'll turn them, I'll turn them all off. Okay, now, unless the problem is in Death Song Brotherhood itself, or Spaz Kicks Motobug Companion, which I was assured is not the case, hopefully this time we won't have the same errors. If Goris is the one causing those problems, then I'll have to go into the Gek and remedy that if I want to use them in the future. But for right now, yes, let's continue without Goris. Probably not this save file since this is the one that, yeah, got jettisoned back. We'll try this one again. You could check Goris's ESP. Uh, I, well, we'll see if... I, I would appreciate the Hello, offer, Hello, Mike Burnfire. I know you don't control the ads on your Twitch, but boars, please. <laughs> the recruitment ads are starting to become the most seen ones. They're trying to get me to go back. Hell no, I won't go. This is not the right channel to be advertising that on. <laughs> With how much I talk about not joining, I can understand some people not understanding, but... No, I th you, you gotta give them some credit, though. You, you gotta give them a little bit of leeway. They're desperate. Most people have learned that this is a bad idea, joining the military, s signing away four to six years of your life for a, an organization that'll just straight up fumigate you. Let's see if this is fixing the problem. Yeah, I'll, we'll, we'll check and see if the issue is fixed. We don't have to you necessarily dive into the GEC immediately. Okay, looks like things are fixed now. Okay, so it looks like it may well have been either Goris or that NPC mod. And I don't think that NPC mod adds things, so. Might just be Goris. Might just be Goris. 
Gorus is from that mod with the stupid death claws, right? Gorus is his own thing. Gorus is a work in progress mod that's unvoiced, but yeah, probably won't ever be finished. You're terribly sick right now, but good luck anyways. Well, thank you, Wheezy. <laughs> Sent duck pick. <laughs> Does Zach know that I'm taking hope on my no-no bad run? I'm not doing the no-no bad run. I'm not Legion Mike. You must be mistaking me for somebody else, for I am the good Mike. The proper Mike. That is me. Thanks the bits, Long Wolf. Not sure what Petey's up to right now, but Jojo has just been fishing around in the toy box for the last ten minutes. You're bringing a stuffed mouse over to the Christmas tree? For what reason, Jojo? Don't look at me. Don't look at me all innocent-like. I see you. You're all confused. Okay, let's not crash anything anymore. Wilt's not here. You are here. Hello, Dom. Keep your distance. Try to flank them while you're here by yourself. Hello, blah, blah, blah. Any rules? Okay, I gotta go. Hey, things are working. Nice. Gorus was one of the companions from Fallout 2. Yeah, I don't know if I ever met Gorus in my Fallout 2 playthrough. But then again, I feel like I missed half of the content in my Fallout 2 playthrough. It's a big, big game. Hey there. Hi there. What'd you do? Uh, did you talk about the Brotherhood? Uh, no, you're not talking to me. All right, bye. I've already talked to basically everybody, so let's, get, let's just get through this. I'll do an F5 right now because I've made a little bit of progress. Thank you for gifting a sub, Crasher. Ooh, Dearney got it. Nice. Hopefully she appreciates it. What's happening? Hello, Stone. What'd you do before the Brotherhood? I've been with the Brotherhood since I was a kid, man. My folks... Fiends killed him. He brought me here and taught me... Th okay. This is more than some job or a group, man. It's my family. What'd you do before this? Watch your parents get killed by raiders? I was a kid, man. I played with toys and shit. Right up until those motherfucking fiends killed my family and had me hiding in a fucking cabinet. I wanted to kill every one of those motherfuckers, but I was only 11. I didn't even have a fucking weapon, man. I had a damn wooden horse. You can swing that around pretty hard. Maybe not if you're a kid. The most beautiful sight I've ever seen was Mal busting in and capping every one of those motherfuckers. Killed nine dudes and made it look easy. Nice. Gorus is only recruitable in Vault 13. You've got little reason to go back there. Yeah, I, I never even met Marcus, which I was kind of looking forward to. But... Yeah, just how it goes sometimes. What do you think about Bruiser? I don't care. Uh, what about you? Oh, that's right. You got no voice. Well, you have a voice, but it's very muted. What's up? Chicken butt. What'd you do before this? I was a ranger. I can tell by your armor. What'd you do? How long have you been a year or two now? Do you like it? Yeah, it's yeah. good. How'd you end up here? If you're writing a book, why don't you leave my chapter out, yeah? <laughs> All right. <laughs> fair enough. Fair enough. Fair enough. Fair enough. Wait. Uh, yeah, I talked to you. You're guarding the armory. You! Can I help you so that maybe you'll go away and let me get back to work? Oh, don't remember talking to a doctor. Uh, I may have some problems. I don't need anything right now. Whatever. Just don't bleed on my desk. Dr. Mordecai, if I have an issue, I'll speak with you. No patients today? Stim packs I can steal, though, apparently. A yoinkity yoink yoink. Yoink yoink yoink. Thank you for that. Also, can I examine everyone's medical records? No, it's broken. Never mind. So, you're proficient at killing old men and little Nancy boys. Mm -hmm. That doesn't fucking impress me, Initiate. Here, take your gear. Get suited up and report back to me as soon as you're done. I've got a real job for you to do, so be quick about it. Spazcakes, you say that you see the issue with Gorus. His keep your distance command has no condition set. So that means it pops up for every NPC. Yeah, I kind of figured that was the case. I've done a little bit of modding in my day, so I, I've made that mistake before. Kind of a shock that it's still up, but eh, maybe not enough people use the mod that the mod author knew about. Maybe the issue is not made aware of them, or maybe they don't even have the, the raw files anymore. Like, fix it yourself. Brotherhood. What's going on? What do you do around here? Same as you. I Ask questions. Kill whoever they tell me to. But when I'm around the safe house, I usually tinker with power armor. I see. A lot of experience with that power armor? Some. I used to be in the Brotherhood of Steel years ago. Learned how to wear it, do minor repairs on it. Sounds useful. What can you tell me of the Brotherhood? It's a good group. The money's good, we have food and beds, and nobody really fucks with us. If you want a history lesson, talk to Wilkes or Bruiser. Pretty sure they're blown up, though. Pretty sure they're not around anymore. So you're lucky you got out while you could. What do you think of Malachi, the doctor? 
Mal is one scary motherfucker when he's pissed off. But he's trustworthy, and he always has our backs. Just don't fuck with him, and he's cool. Saturday stream, is everything all right? Yeah. I just didn't finish this mod yesterday. Didn't... I, I, I made some progress, but then I got a bit, pretty big setback when everything glitched, so... I'm looking to finish the Death Song Brotherhood mod today if I can. Any more sets of power armor like that? I do have a set I've been tinkering with, but I need some more parts to get it working. Ooh, is this a quest? You want stuff from me? I'll tell you what. If you bring me a set of T-45, I can scavenge what I need from that. Or I can give you a list of what I need. My goodness, where would I find a set of power armor? That sounds great! Alright, here's a list of what I need. Or he can just bring me another set of T-45 to work from. Where would I find a Brotherhood soldier with some 40... Alright, well, apparently I got what you needed for the power armor. Maybe I was just carrying around a spare T-45 in my back pocket. What have you got for me? Oh, no, he's got follow-up questions. Never mind. Alright, well, let me know if you change your mind. It would be nice to find a good home for this other set of power armor. Ooh, you're gonna give me that power armor if I give you this stuff? That's pretty cool. I gotta go. See you later. I'm gonna get some nice power armor. It's gonna be glorious. Hello, Sendo Rage. There's a six in there. Maybe for me, Courier Six. This is your room. You probably don't want me to poke around in that. There's the doctor's office. Yep, he's doing that. Doctor things. Uh, quest. Active quest. What do we got? Gear up and talk to Bruiser again. Oh, that's right. He wants me to put on some apparel. So we got Death Song stuff. There we are. Oop, that doesn't quite work. That jacket's not... Well, it's not that bad. But yeah, it's 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 clashing. I'll have to take it off. There's some clipping going on. There we go. Now I'm looking like a proper nerd. Yup. Here we go. Got all these bullseyes all over my body. Shoot me in the circle. I will die so fast. Oh, talking to you again, right? Wonderful. You're actually capable of dressing yourself. Your mother must be so fucking <laughs> proud. This guy's got some fun lines. Now, let's see if you're capable of something that fucking matters. This contract isn't going to be a walk in the park like the last ones. I forgot what I did last time. Today, you'll be killing some fiends. Five of them to be exact. All right, got to do that. Yeah, I can kill five guys. Oh, man, I can put some five guys away like you would not believe. But, oh, my Lord, it's so many calories. Where's the exit around here? You must be the new initiate. Hi. Nice to meet you. I'm Griffin. Yep. Okay, we'll just go through this again. Okay, thanks. Bye. I gotta do this all over again. Excuse me, pardon me, coming through. Uh, pass these bodies, gotta go through. Where the hell am I going? The next is somewhere around here, right? There we are. This way. That's right. You got some kielbasa sausage. Sounds pretty tasty to me. And to you, I've talked to you. What's up? That's that's me. How do you like the blue hood? Oh, you love it. You used to be a fiend. I'm gonna go kill some fiends. You wanna come with me? Kill some of your former companions? How long have you been here? The ranger that killed my old gang was on Bruiser's hit list. I happen to be... Oh, yeah, right time. Yeah, okay. You know Bruiser well? I'm not sure anyone knows Bruiser well, but I do know he's an awesome motherfucker. Used to be a sergeant, eh? Word is he got kicked out for being too hard on the private. I let him be hard on my privates, too. Ah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. How long you been? About six months. I just... Ah, uh, that's right. You're, you're breathtaker rank now. I, I don't really know your rank structure. See you around. Oh, and somebody asked if I'd seen the Amazon Fallout series. Yeah, I did. I, I mentioned that, uh... Earlier in the stream. Looks like the, the trailer itself seems pretty cool. Oh, hey, that's right. Here's the ghouls. Oh, and my, uh, there we go. Get my weapon back out. Where that came from. It's that, uh, avalanche I heard down here. Uh, just popping out. Here we go. Modus has got a quest. Yeah, we might do that if we got some time here. Okie dokie. Why don't we, I don't think Russell's got a whole lot to say, but we're going to head out to the Fiend's headquarters and start killing some folks. Again, we've done this before, so we're just... Retreading old ground as fast as we can because we were doing this all yesterday and then I had my progress reset sadly Because the game just could not stop bugging out Do you smell that? It's awful. It's Russell, maybe. I'm gonna assume it's Russell. He seems like the kind of guy who stinks you Got some food in your beard there, buddy. Any enemies over there? Yeah, there's some enemies over there Those are some fiends over there. We might need to kill them Whoa, whoa, you're drawing, yeah, they're drawing their firearms. Looks like they're killing them all right. You asked for this. We could have pretended that we didn't see each other. Get him a little ladybug. Get him a little sonic bot. I'm gonna blow you to pieces. Shut up, you're dead. <laughs> nice death sounds. Nice final words. I'm gonna blow you to pieces. You say the uh, Fallout TV show's trailer was all right, but Fallout, the, the Halo TV also had an all right trailer. I don't really know much about that. 
haven't seen much of the Halo TV show. Honestly, wasn't Wait, aware of it. it. I'll assume from your comment, though, that it's generally regarded as not being very good. Ow, 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 ow. Who's shooting me through a wall, you son of a gun? Kind of quiet today, eh, Motorson? Normally, you would not stop making the sound effects and going crazy, but I guess not today. Good evening, hatted Khajiit. Am I going into the sewers here? I think it's... Yeah, we're going into the sewers here. Apparently. Killing some fiends down here in the sewers. Some special fiends. Delving deeper and deeper. Got a nice setup down here? I would imagine not, because you're in the friggin' sewers. But yes, I, I believe we had uh, the five fiends. Two in one room, and then three in the other. What in the fuck are you doing? Yep, uh, you're gonna kill you now. And you. And now the other three are... Behind this door right here. Peekaboo! I've got you now. You like that? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Clops. Are you, named after, are you named after only having one eye, or maybe you like the sound a horse like makes that? when it's running? You like the clops? Who's there? Oh my gosh, so there's more than just the five? It might just be more than just the five, because I feel like the, I got more waypoints here. Ha ha! Ha ha! Ah. Ow, ow, ooh, dancing, dancing. You gotta, thought you were a raider, Willow. You're fine now, I think we're good now. I think we've cleared them all out, we can head on out. Okay, getting caught up. That's some blown up generator right there. Is this a mod? This is indeed a mod. It is the Death Song Brotherhood mod. Where's the exit? I think this way, actually. Uh, I'm not sure what's down here deeper. Oh, it's a dead end. Uh, lunchbox. Yeah, not much for me. Okay. We'll head on back. What characters are there in Halo to bring to the stream? <laughs> Adapt the red versus blue machinima. That's probably the most interesting Halo's ever been in for me. Okay, back to the sewer, which is... Where's the best way to get back there? Strip south gate. There's, an, there's a thing around here, right? Monte Carlo. There we are. The escape hatch. Is my gun an AR or, or AK? It's some kind of AK variant, I feel. It's called the Rainier AK, so I would assume so. At the very least. Where's that manhole? Anything that looks wooden is AK-ish to me. I wouldn't know anything otherwise. What? Ah, sticking waypoints telling me to go the wrong way again. Go to the escape hatch and immediately look down. Oh, back up you. Yeah, Motorbug, how you doing? Okay, you, your sound effects do still work. Okay, let's, uh, stay close. Do not keep your distance. Do not try to flank them. Follow me. That, that's a noise, alright. There we go. And past you with a gun aimed at my face. I need to have my weapon drawn. No one's gonna pick a fight with me here, right? Probably not. Possibly. No, at least not yet. Maybe in the future. Excuse me, pardon me, I turn my light, and, um, I don't know, haven't talked to you yet, at least not since the reset. Speaking of which, F5 to save. So you're the new FNG. That's right, I'm the new fucking new guy. What the hell is an FNG? It means you're the fucking new guy. That's me, I'm a courier, actually. The armory always locked and guarded, can I get in there, steal some stuff? Because some fuckhead emptied it out and won't fucking own up to it. Not that I blame them for being scared to. Mal would fucking kill them. So someone around here has got some armaments, do they? How long have you been in the Brotherhood, and what brought you here? About five years. The NCR was about to court-martial me, and rather than stick around, I thought it would be better for me to find new employment. Why were you being court-martialed? What did you do? Because I killed my superior officer for being a first-class fucking idiot. This asshole gets my whole squad killed, but I'm the fucking bad guy? Well, not the whole squad, because you're still alive, so... Maybe they're... Maybe that superior you killed was not as bad as you seem to be letting on. If you survived... How do you like it here? It's good. I do... Uh, diamonds, yep, did that line. Anything I should know about being here? Yeah, I know how to kill people. Wouldn't be here if I didn't. Okay, bye. Now that we've talked to you, and you... So you're the new guy, huh? That's me. How what do you do here? How long you been in the Brotherhood? And other. And what did you do before this? I used to be a caravan guard. Do do do. Okay, gotta go. All right, re-talking to everybody a second time. Uh, castle. That's the birth. Yep. What's going on? I don't think I have the tools you need for your little side quest. I'll have to look up, look out for those. Wait, that's the wrong way. I'm not going this way. Other door. Not the tie dye door. The other door. This door maybe. Uh, haven't talked to you yet. Hey, what's up, brother? I talked to you yesterday. The Omeritas don't mind that there's a hideout under the casino? Are you kidding me? What do you tell me about this? I'll go through with this. Where'd you get that sword? What'd you do here? Okay. You keep doing whatever you're doing in here. I need to report back into Bruiser, which means I should probably just go out here, because that's where you are. Are those fucking fiends dead yet? 
Yes, all of them. All five of them. Which is as many fiends as there definitely are. Very good, Initiate. You are on a steady path toward making me think you're not a complete waste of my fucking time. Can't help but notice Now go that, clean the uh, blood off that gear and report back to me for your next assignment. Can't help but notice that everyone else has black armor, but you've got your maroon burgundy... I guess they've got maroon burgundy accents, but still... Eh, I guess you still fit in. So you, you'd think maybe a black suit and a maroon tie would be a, a bit more common, but then I guess you wouldn't be able to see those stars as well, would you? I am ready for the next job. This next contract will not be business as usual. Your target is the young quarry worker over in Sloan. Goes by the name of Billy Holmes. Billy Holmes. This job will require some finesse initiate. Right. And I hope you fucking have some, because this contract needs to look like a natural death. Right, last time I killed him and he begged for his life. Maybe this Which time... Which means you can't just waltz in there and start shooting everything. I know it takes all the fun out of it, but you'll just have to suck it up. Or maybe I'm thinking of the other quest. Maybe this is the one I didn't complete. Since we can't just kill him, we had to get clever. Luckily, this kid's got a bad ticker, and we're going to capitalize on it. Okay, yes, I have not done this one yet. Billy's got a pacemaker. I don't know where the fuck he got it, but he did. And it's affected by certain radio wave frequencies. So, I just tuned my Malachi boy? came up with a device that emits those frequencies. Oh. So all you need to do is plant it on the target and wait for him to die. I thought maybe I could make his heart explode by listening to... I don't want to set the world on fire. Really a good send-off. And don't leave the device behind either. Bring it back to me. Radio waves interfere with his pacemaker. Tuning my pit boy for the one we call Johnny Guitar. <laughs> just explodes. Chunks everywhere. That would have been amusing, in its own fun little way. Except I don't have music on, so it would have been silence for a few seconds, and then explosion. Still would have been fun, though. Oh, and uh, keep on going the wrong way. Keep forgetting i got to go down this way. Just a small little inconvenience. Nope, oh, not that way. That's a private room I'm not allowed into for whatever reason. Since removing Goris fixed that one problem, do I think it may have been affecting Crossroads the other day? No, because I had this exact same problem with Crossroads two years ago or so when I first tried to play it. The exact same problem, and I did not have Goris installed then. I won't say it's definitely not the solution. It might be functioning now, but I wouldn't put money on it. Hello, this... Don't remember... Yeah, we... Oh, yep, apparently I've gone into a different section. Guess they're all dead or run off. That's right, we're supposed to be going this way to the exit. That's right, that's right, I'm remembering now. Okay, so now we're going to Sloan. Not very many quests take place in Sloan. Not sure what this person did to piss off the people that are paying me to kill him, but to kill him we very well may do. Maybe he's got a reason to, uh, maybe he'll, maybe, is it this guy right here? Yeah, it's this guy right here. Maybe this person will have a reason for me not to kill them. Let's hear your story. Hi, are you new here too? I sure am. Have you seen my face before? First day on the job. Awesome. I'm not the new guy anymore. Oh, maybe I'll get some peace now. Sucks for you, though. So why does that suck? What, what's, uh, what, what do you mean by that? This place not treat people well? Well, let's just say these guys give new guys a really hard time. Maybe they wouldn't do that with you, though. They, they can try. Yeah, I'd like to see them try. They won't enjoy what happens. I'll walk away, and then everything will be kind of awkward, but also kind of not interesting. Yeah, you do look pretty tough. They'd probably be too scared to mess with you. So what do you do here, Billy? Die of heart attacks, maybe? Oh, I fix stuff. I'm really good, too. That's why the other workers don't like me. I'm better than all of them, and I just started. They hate how you make your li their lives so much easier. Hey, do you think you can fix this? Hand Billy the transmitter. I'll say nothing first. Okay. Anyway. Hello again. How long have you been here? Oh, I just started here a few months ago, but I really like it, other than getting such a hard time from the other guys. Okay, well, here, fix this. I shove it into your pocket. Sure, let me see it. Wow, what is this thing? Looks like a ophthalmoscope or something. Let me take a look at it. Hold it tightly to your chest as I back away. Oh, oh, oh. oh you're just... <laughs> that's not... It's not how you use... The radio emitter is in Billy's possession. Now you just have to wait for it to work. Yeah, that's... I quite a radio transmitter to me, but anyway, I'll, I'll step back and let you die without my...
presence being near. But oh nope, he died immediately. Well, man, he just died. How about that? Can I have my radio? Yeah, this guy. Let's just take the evidence back from that guy. So, yup. You guys yeah, see that? No one fired a shot. I didn't bludgeon him or nothing. He just died of a heart attack. Sucks. It's a, it's a stressful life out here, you know. You get attacked so far from their bases means we'll have to watch out on the road. Exactly. You got to watch out for Legion and then Death Claws. Probably some Kazaros down there too. It's, it's a stressful life out here. Just uh, the wasteland itself isn't stressful enough. You got all these creatures nearby and the NCRs breathing down your neck to get some silver ore or whatever you're mining out of the quarry. Gypsum. I don't fucking know, but uh, have fun dealing with that. I'm out of here. Because I'm not actually a new guy. I was lying. You know, like a liar. Wish the waypoint... Where, I, gotta, I gotta put a manual waypoint where I, where I gotta go. Where is it? Keep on struggling to find it. There you are. And now I gotta back you guys. Where'd Russell run off to? There he is. There he goes. Uh well, hello there. What a coincidence finding you outside the strip. Hi. You should have paid your dues, but no. You had to play hard, huh? <laughs> what the hell is this? Now it's our turn. Our? Nobody fucks with the NCR and lives to brag about it. You're dead, I, I didn't fuck with the NCR. What are you talking about? Oh, I guess we're killing this FP. <laughs> what the fuck was that about? Leave him naked, jackass. What the fuck was that? It sounded like a vanilla interaction, but I've never had that happen to me before. Is he mistaking me for somebody else? Because I'm pretty sure my stats are still... I mean, yeah, my Legion reputation is idolized right now, but my NCR reputation is good-natured rascal. And I strip, I'm, I'm liked on the strip. This is the same guy that walked up to me and said, What's up? And then that was all he had to say. What a weird, weird thing. Hey, is that a raid from Al? Welcome, Al. Hope you're having a good evening. Hope you had some fun with Ghostbusters. I wasn't familiar with that game I saw you playing earlier. The only Ghostbusters game I played was Ghostbusters 3 on the PlayStation 3 about a decade ago. Which is crazy because I never even played or watched, I guess, the first two movies. I'm familiar largely with them, and I know they're cult classics, so it's a real shame that I haven't watched them, but... Yeah, I played the, the video game, which is basically the third movie, without watching the two movies that came before it. How silly. But I hope you had some good time. It, it seemed like you were playing a fun multiplayer Ghostbusters game. Yeah, I haven't seen them. I know I should. I actually own them in, in DVD form at this point, but, you know, who even has a DVD player anymore? Gotta... I, I gotta either buy a DVD player or, or rent it on YouTube or something. It's definitely a fun game. Happy to hear it. I'm glad you had fun with that. So, okay, I gotta turn this into Bruiser. Yeah, thanks for the raid. Hope you're having a good Saturday. Good weekend so far. What do you need, Initiate? Quick breakdown of the Ghostbusters series. One's great, two is basically just one. The reboot's all right, the new one sucks. Yeah, that's kind of what I've gleaned. You say your Xbox plays DVDs. I suppose technically the PlayStation 3 and possibly the PlayStation 4 in this house also would. So I guess I can't say that I don't have a DVD player. It would just be kind of a pain to set back up, bring it out of the basement and whatnot. You have a VHS player? Man, it's been a while since... I don't have any VHS tapes anymore. I imagine that a VHS player would come in handy if I did have VHS tapes, though. The PlayStation 4 plays Blu-ray and DVD. <laughs> that makes sense. Although... Considering how a lot of new technologies and new systems like to strip out things from previous years, wouldn't surprise me if they just cut DVD support. Mike has a basement. That's true. I, I have, like, two, two, two rooms. I got the upstairs room and the downstairs bedroom. And that's basically it. Billy is dead and everything went perfectly. Did not have a way to resolve that problem non-violently, but if I had, you probably would have chewed my ear off or something like that. So you're welcome. He's dead. Well... You managed to take out the target and not fuck up the job. Very good, Initiate. Here's your pay. Report back to me after you get cleaned up. I'm ready for the next job right now. Give it to me. Give it to me. This next wonderful task falls to you because you're the resident FNG. I'm the resident new guy. That's right. You seem like you've got half a brain in your head. So you've probably noticed that we are surrounded on all sides by a bunch of fucking tunnels. Very difficult to navigate, actually. Kind of confusing. Now, we've done extensive work to block off all unwanted access to those tunnels. But these fucking ghouls keep finding their way in. I've seen that, yes. And between you and me, I'm fucking sick of hearing Brooks cry about it all the fucking time. So you are gonna clean up this mess. Sounds like grunt work. I want you to kill everything that fucking moves down there. 
And if it don't move, kill it anyway. Never mind, sounds like fun grunt work. And when you're done with that, use these explosives to seal off any place you find that these fucking ghouls might be getting in. Thought you were going to give me, like, really boring jobs. Here, of... take this key. You'll need it to get into the tunnels. Moving concrete. Now report back to me as soon as you're done. And rebar to block the holes. But nope, kill everything and then blow stuff up. You give me the fun stuff. You sure you don't want to do this? Feels like you're missing out. And, yep, okay. So, looks like we're going to kill the rest of these feral monstrosities and then block off the tunnels. Sounds fine. So, we'll just cycle around over here. There were a couple of ghouls over here, but, uh, yep. Come in. We love moving targets. Righto. Uh, this maybe? Go down a bit further. Segment <laughs> bag. That buzzing noise startled me a bit. Guess they're all dead or run off. Thought I'd tripped an alarm or something. Not that I would have complained. Would have brought them all to me. Take them out nice and quick. Turn on the light so I can see where I'm going. I no, never mind. Can't see nothing. Yeah, I'm getting swarmed today. I'm taking a, long, a while to reload my gun. That's right. Funnel them in. Have we already discussed the TV show? What's there to discuss? There's just a trailer. It looks pretty good. Oh, I'm out of ammo. I'm out of ammo. Flamethrower time. Ah, uh, but the flamethrower has a high-pitched noise. It's kind of obnoxious. I don't like that. I'm a bit sensitive to that. I like what it does, but I don't like what it sounds like. I'll just have to keep it holstered when I'm not in combat. Otherwise, it's very distracting. Can you hurry up and burn and... Oh, what the... Thanks for coming out to assist with that. What do you need? Generic assassin. Keep your distance. Try to flank them. What's going on? Tobias. Seems to be a lot of ferals down here in the tunnels. Yeah, those creepy fuckers. They get in all the fucking time. That's partly why I have to stand around here every fucking day. I wish someone would clear all those fuckers out. I really don't like the thought of running into a big pack of them by myself. That is currently what I am in the process of doing. Shit, I'd be willing to pay somebody to do it. It'd be nice to not have to watch my back for them all the time. Oh, I was gonna do it for free, but if you're offering... It seems like the NCR would be trying to put us out of business. Why aren't they? You're right. They certainly would be trying to get rid of us if Mao wasn't paying off the right people. Any good contracts lately? Give me some work. I turned down a contract for some dude with a pacemaker. <laughs> His stupid voice made me want to choke him out. That wasn't a contract. I may have just killed this person. Not going to get paid for him. Anything else? In this line of work, there's not always a standard of honor or decency. But nothing feels better than putting some psycho fiend bitch in the dirt. And how do you like the Brotherhood? This is my home. The Brotherhood not only accepted me for what I am, but embraced me for it. Brotherhood is my family now. Not that Brotherhood is steel. The Dark Song Brotherhood. That's right. Gotta go. See you later. With the, t with the TV show, am I hoping for uh, some dark and serious tone or some dark humor kind of tone? Uh, I, I'm not much of a TV show aficionado. I've hey. watched a couple shows here and there, so... I'm not sure how valid my opinion would be, but I do like to laugh. I do like it when a show makes me laugh, so. Even though it seemed like it was going for a uh, dark and grim tone, a bit of bleak and, you know, as long as there's some levity, I'll, I'll still have some fun with it. I'll still have a good time, hopefully. The waypoint is pointing me down here, so I guess I gotta keep on going. Yeah, should, should not have gone through that door. There's still more to kill down here. This way, uh, waypoint saying go this way. Do hello. Yep. Burn an A to you. I, I saw that ghoul burst into flames. Yeah, is that what you wanted me to see? Because that's what I saw. Might need to stop off at Novak and pick up some different weapons. I'm sorry, I just can't handle that hissing. Oh, that's a lot of beacons. That's a lot of waypoints. Damn, Legion. A lot of quest markers. Well, let's start clearing them out one by one, rotating around the right side of the wall. Genesis What shit did don't? Bit loud, don't you think, robot? Anything else in here? Oh, I'm going up still. Oh, this is like the actual sewer system. Oh, but never mind. It's blocked off. Can I not do anything right here? All right, cool. Never mind. I can just ignore this floor. Yeah. It, hopefully, if I was, uh, hopefully, I can just follow the right wall. And it'll uh, take me to the entirety of this place, and I can then be done with it. Oh, uh oh, back up, back up, back, and then go forward. Oh, we got some issues here. Uh, well, I guess we'll just have to close our eyes and walk forward and hope for the best. There we are. The world is now corporeal again. Yes. Can I go? Okay, gotta go. That requires a key. Apparently. The Sega Genesis has blast processing. Super Nintendo doesn't. Interesting historical fact about those consoles. Thank you, robot. Just plays Sega commercials in my ear. Anything back here tucked away? No. 
Okie dokie. We're we're we are running low on quest markers, so maybe we're getting close to the end. Possibly. Not this one, though. Okay. Funnel you guys over here. Burning you. And... Yes, they are dead. Congratulations. You are correct. But... There's more, it looks like, down here in this tunnel. Cinder blocks. This grate seems to be loose enough for something to slip through. It's probably where the ghouls are getting in. Well, the explosives... I got ten seconds to clear. Oh, it's on a timer. Better get moving. I'll F5. And I'll stand right here. Open the grate. Place it... Place the explosives a third time, and again, and again, and again. So many explosives, just pack them in there. There's no way this is gonna backfire. Just keep, is, it, is the timer getting reset, or is it, uh, just, am I stacking them? No, oh, I was, I was not resetting, I was stacking them. Good to know. And yes, I definitely did need to give it some clearance. All right, place the explosives and then run like heck. Get out of the way, everybody! Get out! Go! Go! Oh! That is blinding! Oh! I... Okie dokie. Guys? <laughs> Russell? Willow? Friends? You... You guys okay back there? Oh, they're, they're not dead. Thought they may have. They thought they'd gotten enveloped in the blast. It was a very big blast. But I guess we can go back now. Not that way, it requires a key. I clearly failed the EOD portion of military training. Yes, I did get yelled at for not throwing the grenade far enough. And for just fucking about in general, I suppose. Not the kind of thing you want to do when there's live explosives in the field. Nah, I didn't really. Hello? You gonna pay me for taking Hello? care of all these guys? What's going on? Pay me. I got all the ghouls that were in the tunnel. Give me money. Man, I appreciate the shit out of that. Here, you earn this. What is this? You didn't give me anything! I guess experience, perhaps, but you didn't give me anything! I didn't see any notifications, at least. Or maybe it was at the very beginning of the dialogue. I don't- I don't- What do you need? Oh, goodbye. Uh, let's see, I don't need this. Darkwood casual? I should probably hold on to that, you know. Legion- I don't need that stuff, or this stuff, or this stuff. Okay, you probably didn't give me an armor. Oh, the snub-nosed shotgun! That must be what you gave me. Uh, let's just drop that. Uh, where's my... Yeah, I'll take that. So you gave me this firearm! With the insignia on the side. Yeah, oh. will ya? Yeah, thanks for the shotgun. The snub nose Rubbington... Wilkes Booth shotgun. Thank you very much. Let's go report in. I don't like how this turret's looking at me every time I walk on in. It's unsettling. Has there been a behind-the-scenes room in a mod that I really liked before? I can't think of a mod. Although Ratchet and Clank usually does have some pretty good developer commentary stuff locked behind a, a developer room, behind the scenes room. It's always good to see that kind of thing. And yes, I am the creator of a mod that adds New Vegas lore friendly NPCs. I'm glad you enjoy that, Fuyuto. Hopefully I can put an update out for that in the future, because it, it was good, but, but I've learned a lot since then. I could probably polish up a bit of what I've put in there and maybe add a few new things, but... That'll have to be for a different day. Let's go report in, shall we? Not to you, Carol. You weren't guarding the armory last time, were you? What's up? Chicken butt. Uh, one of you. Everyone go to your positions, apparently. What do you need, initiate? I did the job. The tunnels are cleared and blocked off, and probably all the ghouls are dead. I don't know. Don't quote me on that. I'm impressed, initiate. Or should I say breathtaker? With a performance like that, you will move up quickly, my friend. Do not know your rank structure. Is that good? Here's your caps. Now go wipe the guts off your face and report to Malachi. He wants to see you. I don't have any guts on my face. That's just how my face looks. My rank has been advanced to Breathtaker. It'd be pretty cool if there was like a, a custom rank here where it just says Breathtaker. But I think, I don't think there's any framework in place for it to be anything other than the default 16 tags. But apparently we are now at a new rank. Breathtaker, in the sense that I'm stealing people's breath away. Oh, you're down here, how you doing? You're showing a lot of potential, lad. Thank you. Bruiser said you wanted to see me, apparently. What's up? I've got another job for you, Breathtaker. There's some mercenaries hanging around Freeside, and they're causing trouble for our clientele. Freeside won't miss them. 
They've been shaking people down on their way into the strip, and the casinos are not happy that they're cutting into their profits. They should be hiring bodyguards, then. There are four of them, and they've been hiding out in the back alleys when they're not robbing people. So get out there and kill these fuckers as quickly as you can. Not quietly, though, because no one's gonna mind. Probably, hopefully. Very well. Um, you got some nice pinups still down here. I just, uh, I gotta keep an eye out for armor stuff for you, too. What's going on? Nothing, nothing. I got nothing for you. But I'll, I'll see if I can get some power armor from you. Just gotta figure out... Oh, yeah, the door's over here. And you again. Charlotte. Have I ever thought about adding NPCs to DLC areas? Like a random hologram and Puesta del Sol that sounds like me and does something other than sell pre-war food. That's a fun concept. When am I going to get my Camaro? Once I get another couple tens of thousands of dollars, maybe. My Ford Fusion does enough for now. Why is it telling me to go this way? Back into the tunnels. I, I must have taken the wrong door. I must have gone the wrong way. Is it telling me? Uh, what you going on? Is it a different quest? Kill the mercenaries in Freeside. All right, let me just get out of here. COC, get me to Novak. Pass all this garbage. Let's see. Can any... we go up in Dinky sometime just to look at the view? Watch where you're going. Shut up, Russell. Give me that APW. All right, so we got, uh, yep. Yep, that's good. All right, here we are in Novak. We just fast travel to Freeside then, which is right there. To the King's Corner, apparently. Nice fast travel point. I can also, th I can, I can also talk to motor Motorsin while in Freeside, and it'll give me a quest. Nice. Come on down to the Atomic Wrangler. We had cheese nuggets and hot dog rings. Hey, the courier's back on his... No, I mean, not, not the courier. The, um, the crier's back on his corner. Nice. He was missing last time for whatever reason. Not sure why. Uh, anybody else here worth talking to? You're all kind of generic, right? Yeah, you're just in a generic con. You got some garbage. Yeah. The Freeside Co-op is still here with the new person. Ah, yeah, but that door is disconnected from the... Yeah. Yup. Two different mods not working properly with each other. Come on down, Tom McGregor. We'll give you a hamster. How many barks you got? I feel like you've got like at least 50. You always got something new to say. Yes, they are in the back alleys, apparently. We'll see if the Freeside mod has locked them off, perhaps. How many mic clones am I keeping in the basement? Oh, yeah, only as much as I need. Is Russell supposed to be a pardon of Kurt Russell from Escape from Los Angeles? I don't know. You'd have to ask some guy. If they were still active in the modding scene, you could ask him. Pass these kings down the dark alley with my death song shotgun. Oh, yep. Yeah. Down here, maybe. Past this church. We'll see if I can actually get there without using console commands because everything is locked off. You! You ne'er-do-wells! Attack me on sight, maybe? No? No? Gonna the talk? NCR took back Nelson. Maybe they can... I just had a great <laughs> idea! I can't sell you beef. Shut up, Benson. Win this war after all. What do we have here? Somebody walking alone in the back alleys of Freeside. Looks like you got lost, friend. Now. I can give you directions, and if you follow them, you might get out of here alive. Oh, yeah? Can I negotiate with you, perhaps? I'm here to give you directions to your grave. How about you give me directions to your stash, and I might let you live? You're pretty cocky for someone who's outnumbered four to one. Now give me your money or you're dead. Joke's on you, I left my caps at home. I have a contract for the, for your head from the Death Song Brotherhood. Luckily for you, I'm open to bribes. I do like how there's a speech option, but I don't like how there's no option to not take it. Whoa, okay, okay. Here, this is all we have. That means you're gonna let us go, right? Yeah, because I don't know how it's gonna piss... I said I was open to bribes, I didn't say I was going to... I. I said I was open to bribes, but I did not say I wasn't going to kill you. You fucking asshole. Kill this motherfucker. Looks like killing these folks is just what I gotta do no matter what. I kinda wanted to see what would happen if I didn't kill him. Maybe it would piss off the Death Song Brotherhood, but I guess they're not gonna get mad at me for that. Cause they're all dead. Hey, how you feeling? Pissed off maybe? You say New Vegas modding is already always interesting. Always interested you and you've wondered about making your own mod. You enjoy writing, so you've written some rough drafts for a potential story mod, but you're very unsure if you want to take the time to learn the tools for New Vegas. Well, if you were interested, there is quite a few tutorials and resources on YouTube. Granted, they are pretty old at this point, but they still get the job done. There are quite a few tutorials you can look up. Watch out for the Raider Cop. Yeah, watch out. I mean, the, the Brahmin around here. 
You seem eager about something, robot. What is it? Boop. The Pip Boy scans Motorson's database and has picked up a mission log. It contains the coordinates of a creature moving at great speeds around Freeside. By digging through the log, you discover that Motorson was sent here via teleportation in order to pursue and destroy this creature. Oh, really now? Well, we might do a sidetrack to kill this thing as well. Bing! Not my search engine of choice, but to each their own. Help Motorson destroy his target. And also, after I'm doing that, maybe try and find some T-45 power armor. I don't know where I'd find that, but... Or get him all the parts. Maybe I can find the, follow the waypoint for that. I don't know. Take some ammo from you. You got some ant meat. Weird. Okay, we're just gonna leave those bodies rotten in Freeside, because that just adds to the... I mean, there's just so many, so many, so many bodies out there already. It's just what people are used to at this point. There ain't no body rotten in the streets. Is it really Freeside? I don't think it is. How far away are we going here, actually? Yep, just past this, past this gate, it looks like. Yeah, the best way to start modding is, I guess, just Come figure... Come to Mick and Ralph's for all your shopping needs. Just try it. Whoa, is that... <laughs> there it is. There we go. It's a fast little mole rat. It's named Sonic 2. Man, that thing is fast. Look at it run away. <laughs> it's not in a fighting mood. Oh! Yeah! Eggman slash Robotic's gonna be so happy. My way past cool quotes and Sonic meat. We got him. Let's see what this is all about. Even without wings, I can still fly. Oh yeah, this is happening. Hey Sonic, enjoy your future. It's gonna be great. You're too slow. Sonic's the name. Speed's my game. I'll make you eat those words. Watch out. We're gonna crash. Ah! I remember that. Yeah, from Sonic Adventure 2. Yeah, good stuff. You're that faker! I just killed the Sonic mascot. I killed the Sega mascot. Yeah, well, I was, I was always more of a Nintendo slash PlayStation guy anyway. So, uh, we killed that blue rat. Yeah. Do you think you can study its remains? Perhaps dissect it? It has analyzed the blue blur's remains and has come to a conclusion. This pest was totally rad! After gathering this data, Motorsin now has the ability to clone the rat's meat, as well as a variant that will bring you speed your speed, your speed to normal. Enjoy the totally tubular taste of this rat's flesh. So if I eat this rat flesh, goodness me, Sonic flesh. Just eat the Sonic flesh. Speed plus 85. Hey, we're going fast. You know, do they stack? Can I eat multiple Sonic meats and move? Nah, it doesn't stack. Very well. I'm good with this. I'm having a good time. Mick and Ralph's for all your shopping needs. Cool. We can move a little faster now. Not sure. There's like a timer on that or not, or if I'm just like permanently fast now until I talk to Motorson, but yep, yeah, gotta go fast. Gotta go fast. Nice, that was fun. That was a fun little quest. Tell Malachi the mercenaries are dead. Let's try and find some of this power armor first. Where can I find it? Uh, it's not, got a quest marker. Nope. Um, let's go to the, uh, where is it? Quarry Junction, Hidden Valley. Not sure if we can find a corpse of a Brotherhood soldier out here. Oh, you know what? I bet you I know there is one Contact. though. Okay, so, yeah, probably not going to be any bodies here, but I bet you there is one up here near the Nellis Air Force Base. Because that corpse might still be up there if that hasn't been programmed to fade away. I do like moving faster. It does save a little bit of time. So we'll see if the body's here. Hopefully they do not launch artillery shells at us. We've already done the boomer stuff. But in a crater around here, there still might be this... I think it may have been that crater, but I don't see any bodies, so maybe not anymore. Bodies may be gone at this point, because there's nothing in that crater. Hey, that's T-51B. That's It's power armor, but I don't think it's the power armor that that person was looking for. But what other power armors in the game are there, you know? T-45 power armor. Yeah, where's T-45? I have no idea where you're gonna find T-45 power armor. Well, I guess we'll head on back then. I guess I could always, you know, console command it in, but it seems a bit cheap. You tried making a script to return your speed to normal after a while, but couldn't get it to work, so instead he gives you food to bring your speed back to normal. Okay. In which case, he probably sets the uh, speed to like, move speed 100, something like that. Yeah, because that's not normally a variable you can interact with. You probably have like a, you probably like set, set move speed back to one or something like that, to 100. Which might interfere with, like, the, uh, the light step fast, fast travel perk. I'm not sure. This way? 
Yeah, I gotta go report in. Yeah, the bunker's blowing up now. The Brotherhood bunker is blown up, and I do not think I'll be able to find power armor in there. I also forget what the T-51 looks like. No one told Willow that she can't sing licensed music. Well, that's okay. She sings so poorly that it'll never be recognized by the algorithm. Hey. You're showing a lot of potential, lad. Don't flatter me. The mercs are dead. That's fucking wonderful. Here's your payment. When you're ready, I have another job for you. I'm ready now. I had a feeling about you, and I think you've proven yourself capable enough for this next contract. I am very capable. I've killed so many people. At least you'd better hope you are, because this will not be fucking easy. Your next hit is a paladin from the Brotherhood of Steel. Oh, that's convenient if they're wearing T-45. Now I know you're a tough little fucker, and you think you can handle anything, but this ten can bastard likes to stick close to his friends. Well, it increases the chances. And that breathtaker is where you'll find the difficulty lies. He's got a lot of friends, and they stick together constantly. You should call that rank Breath Stealer. Luckily, they've been outcasts from the Brotherhood, so we don't have to worry about pissing off that giant fucking anthill. <laughs> They're all dead. <laughs> That's not something for you to get all fucking happy about, though. You still have to deal with the other paladins that are guarding your target. I will go grab some heavy ordinance. If you manage to pull this shite off successfully, there'll be a nice little bonus in it for you. On top of a thousand cold hard caps. Okay, very well. I'll be back. We've lost contact with the last man we sent to take care of this. So fucking be careful. And keep an eye out for him. His name is Griffin. Ooh, maybe Griffin was recruited. Maybe There's a holodisc on my desk there with some more intel on this walking garbage can. Grab it before you go. And be careful. On your desk? Okie dokie. I didn't see that. Oh, there it is. It just kind of appeared out of thin air. Let's read this intel. I've been watching the movements for days now, and there seems to be a surprising lack thereof. These guys are holed up tighter than a rad scorpion's arse hole. They have all the entrances trapped 60 ways from Sunday, shotguns, mines, and grenades. Needless to say, I haven't been able to get in to get a good look at them yet. I'll try again tonight, though. Eleven of them carrying gear and crates. Only two of them have come out. Well, then how would you know? I'll report back. Griffin. And then they never did. Let's go see what that's all about, shall we? Curious, very curious. There's a Brotherhood safe house. Yeah, yeah, I'm aware of that. Although I don't know if we have access to it, seeing as how they're Brotherhood. I think we may have it. We may, they, we may have gotten the key before we exploded them. Kill the outcast Brotherhood or Brotherhood of Steel Paladin. Pa Paladin. Yeah, Paladin, yeah. Over here in Ruby Hill Mine, eh? Okay. We'll see if there's two guards. No? No, no one's out here? Very well, let's see. We got, uh, oop, there's a whetstone in that stone. Not sure the shotgun's gonna be the best for these guys. We got beanbag rounds, that's basically it. Though you aren't of the Legion, <laughs> you've aided us more than once. Of course. We acquire many items. Thanks, thanks. How long will I get this benefit for? Thanks, goodbye. Every, every adventure, he shows up once. Every adventure, you, you piss him off, and then he, he forgets about you, and then he comes on by because he forgot about you. We'll just equip that there. Down here, I got Lola. 90 millimeter. All right, we'll try that. Yeah, this'll do. Possibly. I don't see any Brotherhood guys in here. Seem like late lurks to me. No, no, the Brotherhood has built up an alliance. Oh, wow, you just... Is that friendly fire right there? Did you just Sonic wave your friend? Willow. Oh, you guys are actually participating by shooting at people up there. Ow! Morrison's also got some dialogue about factions. I think I've seen a bit of that. I did play around a, a little bit with Morrison and talked about factions and... Uh, Saw the developer commentary. That's that seems like a lot of fun. And hopefully we can show that off on the channel when we get around to that. When we go back to New Vegas and do some stuff. Whoops, hello. See that right there? That was a reload cancel. That was tactics right there. Just gotta oh. Sorry. Sorry, Willow! Bring it. These don't seem like brotherhood to me. Oh. Also, Waypoint says they're up and I'm going down right now. Maybe there's a door in this. Okay, it sounds like Morrison might be fighting something else over here. Is Ray there a. Clerks. That sound they make is incredible. Does it vibrate hmm. through your whole head too? See, this is why I ranked Willow so highly out of my companion tier list. Is she's got a lot of dialogue. She recognized that we're fighting Lake Lurks and she got things to say about it. I do appreciate that. Although I think we may indeed have to go down. Maybe there's a door over on this side. Not sure. What time is it for me? It's killing time. Oop. Yeah, we're gonna ignore that and just go through this door because I think we're gonna go through this door. Yeah, you have fun with that, Willow. Oh, 
Dead Brotherhood and T45 power armor and helmet. Nice. We get a few more just for good measure. So, oh, hello, Motorson. Motorson, almost shot by Mike. Right up in my face and almost died. So that's two Brotherhood soldiers dead out here. What killed them? Did something inside kill them and dump their bodies? SSF Alpha, inaccessible, inaccessible. Something is going on here. Elevator to Sleeping Sands Facilities Records. What's this? Sleeping Sands Research Facility. This is new. This is a brand new thing. New posters, that's cool. I like that, I like that. You need Zach here to judge my choice of weapons? Ah, he's always judging me for my weapons. But you know what? It's all good. It can happen here. Prepare for it. You make it right. They make it right. Uh, so that requires a key card that I do not have. Level 1 key card. Keep that in mind. But I'm taking the elevator right now to the facility records for Sleeping Sands. You just got back from seeing Godzilla Minus One. I've never heard of that. But it was good, huh? You wanted to know if I saw the TV show trailer, and if so, what I think of it? I thought the trailer was good. Hopefully the TV show is as good as that trailer was, because that trailer was pretty dang nice. So down here, yeah, jeez, my brotherhood dead. Someone's already done my job for me. Ouch. That's right. It's that booby traps. Don't forget about that. They set the booby traps. A lot of locked doors, though. Got to keep an eye out for key cards. They got some layers on them. Okay, there's booby traps down here. All right, hold on. Okay, let's start picking up landmines. And not setting off traps if we can help it. It's a broken terminal. Don't do anything. Ah, ah, ah. I saw that. And I saw that. You ain't sneaky. I'm seeing these traps. Yep, not there. Yeah, all these Brotherhood guys are dead. Guys and gals. Corpse pals. What's going on? That was, okay, I didn't see that trap, apparently. Not being vigilant enough. Let me just duck in here. Just in case the explosion was bigger than I anticipated. Uh, Griffin, this is the person that was sent to check him out. You didn't take all these guys out on your own, did you? What's, uh, what's going on here? So there's supposed to be a bunch of Brotherhood guys. And Griffin went missing. I could understand all these guys being killed by Griffin, you know. Stretch of the imagination, sure. And I can see Griffin getting killed by these guys, but this is supposed to be a simple reconnaissance mission. W why did you end up down here? Why are you all dead? What's going on? I'm befuddled and confused. And I'm gonna set off a fuse. Ah, 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 ah that mine was partially buried in the ground. Got me. Oh, grenades, back off from that. Hey, that blew up part of my leg, didn't like that. Though all the other grenades should probably be set off now at this point. Yeah, that, that that's not great. Sitting off an explosive, blow myself up, but everything else should be taken care of now. Okay, let's walk through these places one by one. Clear these rooms individually. Just a bathroom. Didn't booby trap the bathroom, it could be kind of a dick move. What kind of, you wouldn't even want to be part of this Brotherhood organization. Hey, want to leave the Brotherhood? Kind of sucks. We want to join the Brotherhood Outcasts? Well, I don't, I don't know. Why would I want to leave the Brotherhood and join the Brotherhood Outcasts? Well, you see, I'm going to lay booby traps everywhere. So every time you need to go take a piss, you got to step over 14 landmines and 12 landmines and 30 more tripwires. And if you screw up, you die. Well, I, I don't think that's very appealing. But we've got some cool armor. It's the same armor I'm currently wearing. Yeah, but shut up and join. Well, you make a very persuasive argument, I must say. Ouch. So, trap's still active in here. Hello. Still making deliveries, courier. Yeah, I know who you are and why you're here. I got news for you, asshole. You're outmanned and outgunned. Disgraced Paladin Elias. I will hand it to you. You got balls coming here. Too bad you were dumb enough to actually show up. Let's do this, man. What men? Everyone's dead. Oh, crap. Nope, never mind. I take it back. There's more than the... Okay. So... Guys, were you... You know what? Why don't I use some of these landmines that I've picked up? Crap, 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 crap. They're coming. Oh, Lord, are they coming? That door is inaccessible. Hold this. And this. And this. You know, at this point, a grenade might actually work better. I'm just gonna keep bouncing this around the door a little bit. Ow! Ow! I'm hit. So I'm guessing I gotta kill 11 of these guys. I guess these this is like an actual Brotherhood safe house that you all killed. I, I, I'm not entirely sure. Don't... Wait, no! 
What's going on? But there we go. Yep, yep, still got one of you alive. There's the head honcho, Elias. Man, you are tanky. That armor is useful, it seems. Congratulations on chewing through all of my ammo. Thank you, Elias's Bane. Hideout key. Dang, that armor. All right, show me your weapon, Elias's Bane. It's a microfusion gun. Neat. Well, it didn't seem to be doing a whole lot of damage to me, but maybe when it's in my hands. I'm not sure where my companions went. Did not seem to be participating at all. Kind of obnoxious. Heavy riveter. Don't need that. So, yeah. Where is the exit? Where are my companions? Where is everything and everyone? Also, the way I checked the bodies of all 11 of those dead, dead guys. Stimpak. Well, I mean, that's useful. If there were really 11, I'm not entirely sure. But there's certainly a lot of bodies out here. Also, what are their key? Oh, so many layers. Not sure what this key opened. What door it opened, perhaps? Guess I'll just keep walking around until I figure out where I'm going here. If there were more Brotherhood guys that are invisible, now would be a good time to attack me, because I am not paying attention, just looking for a door. Knocking on walls, trying, trying to see if there's like a hidden Wolfenstein door around here somewhere. Hello, Russell. Hello, Motorbug. Hello, garbage can in the middle of nowhere. Looks like it might be a freaking prop hunt player in the middle of nowhere. There we go. Elevator to leave. Okay, and another dead soldier. Well, that is that, and that is all she wrote. I uh, yep, one of you. Whoa, this gun is actually kind of effective against Lake Lurks. Kind of wish I had left a few more alive so I could test out this gun on him. I'm sure I'll be killing more people. I mean, we are doing this uh, contract killer quest line, it would seem. Search for the paladins and find out how they knew I was coming. Oh, whoopsies. Anyway, I brought back some armor for you. What's going on? Armor. T-45. Awesome. That's just what I needed. Give me just a sec, and here we go. I think it's all set. Here, try this set out. Should be working like new now. You give me some armor? Is that what you... You took that armor from me, and you're gonna give me Death Song Power Armor. Am I equipped to utilize this? I may be. Hey! There we go. Still got this dumb element, but you know, we got some power armor, and considering how tanky these guys were to, to shoot through, not the worst thing in the world. You can kind of see through my pauldron a little bit, but that's all fine and dandy. Hello. And... Helmet. There we go. Now we got the matching helmet going on. It's not as cool as yours, though, with the red visor. Eh, is it? Okay, yeah, it's the exact same armor. All right, cool. Nido nido completo. Uh, and now I'm just gonna frickin' move to QT so I can go pick up the thing I apparently left behind. How did they know I was coming? Hollow tag didn't, didn't really help me. You guys got any, like, uh, notes on ya so you can, I can figure out what's going on here? How did they know I was coming? Who has betrayed me? Alright, everyone step away. I gotta figure out what's going on. It's this guy right here, this, this... Ooh, Elias's hollow disc. That must have been what I was looking for. Elias, that assassin you told me about came from a group called the Death Song Brotherhood. They're a group of contract killers and someone has hired them to kill you. I have a source in the group and they told me that another assassin is coming for you soon. I want you to be careful, son. This assassin is going to be much more dangerous. Have you heard about the reports on the radio about the courier who got shot in Libra? What's that person? Oh, it's so deadly. I will find a way to prove it to the Elder. I love you, son. Saul. There's a mole, which I think we already suspected. Uh, and there it is again. Just in case I didn't read the note, that is the note that I just read. Am I going to change ah. my ducky avatar to have a Christmas hat? I normally don't, although I probably should spice it up, you know, change the avatar here and there. And now i got to find my way back out past the garbage can. There we go. All the way back out. Yep, yep, yep. Why? What are you scowling at me for? I didn't do nothing. I got framed. He has another note. Wait, did I not read the other note? Malachi, I've been... No, no, I read that. Did I just... Was that another note? Did I I don't think he had a note on him, did he? I'll double check, but I feel like... That's not the case. That's... I, mean, I don't think he had another note. I think he had some random garbage on him, but I don't think he had a note. Pack of cigarettes. Yeah, he just had a pack of cigarettes, looks like. Okay. Uh, this way. I could get a white beard for my ducky avatar. I just need to update him. It's been quite a... It's been quite a while, honestly. Can't keep on using this one, which is, you know, not wholly original. Oh, hello. Good enough. Oh, and then there's this. No, he's dead. That's right. I killed him. 
he'd be dead. Don't jump off. I'm sure I'll trip and stumble and bumble like a fool. Like they did. Cow? Whoa, this, this cow's got horns. It's a Brahmin bull. Whoa. What added to you? You're not simply uncut, are you? Well, you're vanilla. I don't remember seeing a Brahmin bull before in all my years of playing this game. Are you sure? How odd. Yeah, yeah. Come it's on. it was so rare and now it's extinct. I had to do it. Report back to Malachi. Tell him the paladins are dead, but they knew that I was coming because there's a traitor in the Brotherhood. I speculated as much. Wrong teleportation point. Who the hell is humming? That is Willow. <laughs> Stand back from the perimeter. By order of Colonel Zhu, the south gate is closed until further notice. God, I hate these guys. Have fun being dead, nerds. I'm going over here instead. Wait, is that gonna kill anyone important? Nah, we're fine. And away we go. And there's the tunnels. And now we gotta navigate a little bit more down. It would be nice if the uh, fast travel point led us directly where we needed to be. Wait, I can go in this door. Oh, this is the generator. Yeah, there's nothing. I'll just stash that. Okay, Doc Malachi is not who I'm talking to. How y'all doing over here? Morgan, initiate. Hey there. Hi there. What do you guys know about this initiate right here, this soft-spoken guy? Sometimes it's hard to decide if you want to play it safe and do your hit from a distance, or do it all up close and personal with a knife, you know? I do know, but I don't know much about you, even your name. I'm a little busy right now. Let's talk later. I'm a little busy standing in front of this naked, half-naked lady. Don't you have something better to do than jawing my fucking ears off? I did your... Oh, no, I'm not talking to you. Sorry about that, you dick. I'll shoot you on my way out next time. Have you put that walking pile of scrap down yet? Bad news, Malachi. He's dead, but so is Griffin. They knew I was coming, and the evidence is in this holodisc that I found and definitely did not forge. So they ambushed you, and you still made it back here alive. You really are one tough little fucker, aren't you? What are you insinuating? That's a shame about Griffin. He was a good man. Not a great man, apparently, though. If these fuckers knew you were coming, that means we've got ourselves a fucking rat. A blue rat? Already got him. Don't worry. I fucking hate rats. Slimy little cocksuckers that they are. It seems we have some house cleaning to do, but we'll get to that. First, let me see. Yeah? I am impressed, Breathtaker. And so I hereby promote your rank to Bloodhand. Ooh, is that a step up or step down? I can't give you your own room up here, as they're all taken. But there's an empty one in the tunnels. Talk to Oak about getting some things for it. Looks like we got ourselves a nice little base. To get to it, just go through the common room and through the door that's by the reloading bench. Go down the stairs and it will be right there. Alrighty then. Now, as I promised you, here's your payment. And for your reward, I had a custom set of armor made for you. I think you'll find it to your liking. But I just got a custom set of armor. Well, I figured out how to deal with this rat problem. There are some more jobs to take care of. So come back and see me when you're ready. Maybe you should hold on to those jobs and distribute them. That song, Ranger Helmet and Ranger Armor. Well, that sounds neat. You should, hold on, you should hold on to those jobs and distribute them as you see fit. To test anyone else's loyalties. Combat armor, combat helmet. Yeah, just like that other person in the Dark Song Brotherhood. That's also a ranger. Hello, Bloodhand. That's me, Bloodhand. Give me a job. What's next is another contract. There's a great con named Brick, and someone wants him dead enough to pay us for it. Okay. The only hitch is that the client does not want this to look like a murder. So I need you to make it look like an accident. Or a suicide. Can do. If you fulfill the client's wishes, there will be a nice bonus for you. Then off I shall go. Don't push around a con. Find the great con named Brick and kill him, but not with a brick. Try to make it look like an accident. Maybe a wheelbarrow full of bricks falls off the side of a building and lands on his head. That seems innocuous enough to me. In fact, it's so innocuous, it's downright innocuous. Also, where's my new base? Private room requires a key. I had to talk to somebody about that. You? What's up? Mara, give me a room. What, what do you know about Malachi? Mal is kind of fucking scary. Okay. Apparently I don't get the room from you. Somebody else I forgot. 
Find the great con named Rick all the way over in Red Rock Canyon. Uh, I thought the cons had left Red Rock Canyon. Guess that was a downright lie. What if all the cons had left Red Rock Canyon? It was just one guy, one con got spawned here because of the mod. No contingency plan for the cons all being gone. Just one guy. What? What? Soon Caesar will send his best troops from the Arizona campaign. The NCR won't know what hit them. Crazy ass motherfucker. One of you got one of you guys gotta be the one I'm talking to, right? Money. We'll return. Stronger than before. Nah. We're oh. not moving as many cams now that the fiends have been taken out. Oh, we got a dog, neat. Uh, maybe you you I'm a little busy here. What the fuck do you want? How far is it to the bottom of this ledge? I don't know. A long fucking way. Why? <laughs> Strength 4 out of 7. I wanted to know if this fall would kill someone Try to push him off the cliff. I gotta go. What a waste of time. And we'll just F5 quickly. I'm a little busy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Push you off the cliff! Eh, eh. Feeble arms pushing you off the cliff. Is it working? Are you getting pushed off the cliff right now? Hold on. Eh. Push! Push off the cliff! Are you off yet? Get off the cliff! Well, I just put myself back right here. Hopefully I'm in the right spot. Probably not. Whatever. I'm standing here waiting for my brother, and you want to know if this fall would kill someone? <laughs> what kind of fucking asshole asks a question like that? <laughs> Didn't even know what was going on. Not, what? Oh god, what the hell? What was that all about? He went hostile dropped a grenade. Maybe he didn't... It sounded like he dropped a grenade. Some kind of... Ex Maybe it wasn't a grenade that I heard go off. I heard something. I thought I heard something. Well, does that count? No one saw me do that, right? So that should count, right? Possibly, possibly, probably, maybe. I don't know. Tell the Malachi that Brick is dead and you weren't the cause of it. My companions kind of were, though. <laughs> they straight up gunned him down. This counts, apparently, though. Hey, any wins a win. I'll take it, I suppose. Far me, excuse me. I gotta figure out who I'm buying my base from so I can gain access to that room. So I can start doing some detective work. Start putting some push pins into some red thread. Start putting things together. Deduce who is the one that has betrayed us. Castle. What's going on? Nothing. You. Hey there. Morgan, I'm going to find the person who's selling me the, the room eventually. Just talk to everyone. Sometimes it's hard. What's happening? Stone. What do you think about Bruiser? That is one tough as nails motherfucker you're talking about. Cool. What do you think about Wilkes? Between you and me? Kind of a dick. Got it. Malachi? Mal has been like a father to me. Okay, so you all like him, but I'm not sure... Hard to decide if you want to play it safe and do your hit from a distance. Not sure which one of you is the traitor. Like Maybe you, Bruiser? Don't you have something bad? Alright, 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 alright. No one in the bathroom to talk to. Uh, there were some folks back this way. The doc, maybe? I don't have time to chit-chat. I gotta go. Wait, no. I changed my mind. I don't have time to... Patch me up, doc. Well, quit whining about it and come here. And then he injected me with some mystery fluid and I felt so much better. Yeah. You can stop crying now. I'm finished. <laughs> Thanks. If the needle hurt a little bit, though. If I'm being completely honest. I don't have a, a voice, that's right. But I'm the person you gotta talk to to get your room. That's kinda empty. Alright, fucking kitty, that shit is empty. Don't worry, though. I can hook you up. I got some friends in town who can uh, procure things. The problem is they don't work for free, so you gotta cough up some caps. If you want a nice pad, it's gonna cost you. I think about 2,000 caps will do it. What do you think? We got a deal? Maybe Oak here is the mole. Maybe the reason that Oak is not voiced, and the only person in this mod so far that is unvoiced, as far as I can tell, is because the mod author was holding out for some really well-known voice actor. <laughs> Give me that person who did Rancor from the Frontier. Apparently there's a, a really well-known voice actor who's volunteering to do some mod work. I'll hold out hope for them. And then the never answered the emails. So this person remains unvoiced to this day. Here's 2,000 caps. All right, all right. I'll, I'll get right out of here. Don't worry. I'll have your pad nice in no time. Thank you. What's up? Chicken bot. Uh, I got to get a new quest from this guy, I think, right? Uh, you. Hello, Bloodhand. That's me. Brick accidentally died. I definitely had very little to do, do with it, as far as anyone knows. Well done, Bloodhand. I knew I could count on you to fulfill the client's desires. Here's your payment, and a bonus of 500 caps on top of it. Woo! Take a break, and then come back to see me. 
I've got something very important I need you to take care of. Really important, you say? Is it related to the mole? I hope it is. It seems like that might be important. Jojo and Peter are going to break into my basement and release the clones. Oh, no! Well, their logic is flawless, though. One human gives us handfuls of treats, so many humans gives us many handfuls of treats. It makes a lot of sense when you think about it from the cat's perspective. Greetings, Bloodhand. Howdy! So, what's next, Mal? Over at the NCR Embassy, there's a Sergeant Granger, who for the past 15 years has done a fine job of keeping the NCR off our backs. Apparently so, because no one's coming down to knock on the door. The services have not been cheap, but for the most part they've at least been reasonable. But now the cocksucker wants to suddenly triple his price, and is threatening to give us up if we don't pay. Well, you want me to put the screws to now, him? No, I have no problem with a man taking an honest bribe. But this fucking bastard has overstepped the bounds of common decency. You want me to make him lower his price? You you certainly don't want me to kill him then. If he's keeping the NCR off our backs, then killing him would probably not be beneficial. Not unless we have to. I'd like to see if we can persuade him first. Hooray! A not-kill mission! I know the sergeant is very fond of his children. And I happen to know all three of them are stationed at McCarran. We're gonna threaten this man's children! I'd like for you to take something personal from each of them. And then I'd like for you to deliver those things to the sergeant. Their fingers! And tell them the next delivery will be their fucking heads. Oh, so don't bring their heads. Got it. Won't he just bring the full force of the NCR bearing down upon us, though? That seems like the kind of thing a scumbag like that might do. This person, I don't know that all that well. I'm just kind of speculating right now. It's an empty threat. He knows I've got too much dirt on him to try that shape. You just make the delivery, and I'll worry about the rest. So, go steal some personal artifacts from three folks and then deliver it to a guy stationed at the dam. Is what I'm gathering I need to do, so off I shall go. I agree, it does make him look like the xenomorph, xenomorph mixed with venom. Yes, those are the two things I went to as well. The first things I thought of. The private room still requires a key. Damn it. Oh, you're crouched because you're bored. Yeah. I can imagine standing around all day and get kind of boring. You know, I should turn that Xenomorph mod back on. It would it would kind of fit perfectly with this guy, you know? We get attacked by a Xenomorph alien down here in the, the Blood Song, Death Song building. Okay, so take something personal from each of the children and deliver them to Sergeant Granger. Where are his children, though? I guess I'll follow this waypoint and see where it takes me, but I don't I don't know where the kids are. Unless the kids are all stationed here at, the, at McCarran as well. But I, I don't think that's the case, because I've never seen kids over here. You loved me. Oh, that's right. I killed the NCR soldiers guarding the gate. That's right. I forgot. Y'all ain't dead in here, though. That man looked like Irish Korg. Looked intimidating, but soft-spoken. Yes, he did. Ha he does have a soft-speaking voice that belays, belies his intimidating armor's appearance. Scottish Venomorph. <laughs> Xeno <laughs> Xenomorph Venom. So he's a, a Venomorph. Made me think of Venonat. He's a, he's a Pokemon. That's what he is. So, do I just talk to him and just start... I dress as, as an NCR soldier. I start chatting him up. Hey, the what are you, vets are on their what are you doing back. serving out here? You got family back home. You're looking forward to seeing wife, maybe some kids, pet. Oh, you have kids? What are their names? Where are they stationed? Where are they at? In the Mojave, you don't say. Where are their exact locations? And what artifacts they carry on their persons? What possessions do they have that would identify them as, uh... Okay, so here I am in the barracks. Are you... Oh, yeah, all the soldiers are grown folks. That's right. What do you need? No, oh, wrong button. Sorry. Am I... And silent. Am I pickpocketing from you? You have a dog tag. I guess I could try to pickpocket your dog tag. Does that count, though? Are, or, or, wait, are you the person I'm blackmailing? Hold on. Who this? That's Thomas. Okay, so these are the kids. So, I'm sure, I'm sure you guys got some artifacts in these lockers, right? Possibly. Somewhere around here. The sidearm that belongs to Thomas Granger. Sneaky, sneaky. That's one. I mean, if I stole their dog tags from right under their noses, that... That'd also be intimidating in a way. A switchblade! I yelled out loud as a soldier walked past me. Is it all weapons? Is it just three weapons? Bingo! Yeah, distracting with sonic noises. And a combat knife. Woo! And now I go up to... Where's the person? Probably out here in the main terminal area. Very well. 
When am I going to get my VA benefits in New Vegas? I'm not actually employed by the army. I am a freelancer, which means I don't get any benefits. It's like being an Uber driver. All the work, none of the benefits. Is it telling me to go out this way? Wait, is it telling me to leave through here? Found you. Whoa, hey, whoa, what the hell? You didn't even give me a warning. Escalation of force is a thing, you dicks. I'm sorry, the waypoint was telling me to go out that way. Oh God, oh God, do not use first person sights with this firearm, that's a bad idea. Oh, oh, hey, so focus is 1064 nanometers, I don't know if you know that. 532 nanometers if you're using the SMG. And also, remember 8, 18 p.m., it's very important. It's very important to the story, that, that, that information right there. Yeah, we're just gonna go ahead and reload from the autosave before I did that. You know somebody is old when their Pokemon knowledge doesn't extend past Gen 1. Yeah, I mean, I guess, I I guess that would make them old because it means that they were playing Pokemon 20 years ago, 20, 25 years ago, however long ago, and not since then. So the, the youth and vigor has faded from their souls. So yes, I guess that would make them old, wouldn't it? So don't actually go out that door. It's deceitful. Something Hello. Something I can do for you? Colonel James Shu, you're alive! Yes, what is it? You seem calm, given how, how things are so bad around here, and also you're supposed to be dead! Calm is what you have to be when people look to you. And it's all you can be when things are out of your hands. You know, I bet I could make that Legion prisoner talk. I have Lieutenant Boyd on that already, and she's excellent. But I think she's hit a wall. Talk to her if you like. See if she has any use for you. Her office is right above mine, but I think she might be interrogating right now. So she'd be upstairs on the other side of the building. Right, you say that, but <laughs> this quest was completed a long time ago, so probably not. I mean... Yeah, this quest was completed a while ago. At least it should be. We got Corporal Schmuckatelli out here. Oh, damn! Silas is still in there! What the hell? What the hell is this all about? Glad you're with us. Is Silas not actually... Did we not actually... No, we got this, we got this, we already did this. He's, he's still in there because we didn't free him. Because we're not doing a Legion run. So this is all done, right? You're back. I'm back. Do you need any help? Yeah, so far this has gone exactly- What? This quest isn't done yet! What the hell? Why isn't this quest done yet? This quest should be done. Did it get reset somehow? Well, I'm not doing it right now, but I might have Long to- time no see I may need to come back here and make sure that this quest is marked as complete, just in case any future quest mods we do make reference to it. It's odd. It's very odd that that quest is incomplete, like we didn't save after we did that quest. So odd. I am doing well, Colton Brown. Thank you for asking. Take something from each of them and then talk to Sergeant Granger. Where are they? Where's Sergeant Granger? On the strip. Oh, okay. We'll just go right through this gate. Nothing's stopping us, of course. Stupid dead NCR. And it spits us out right here. So very useful. Inside the embassy. Hey, thank you for the sub, Creamy K. Thank you for the prime sub. Much pre- what? Door to office of NCR investigations. What the hell is this? Oh, that's where I'm going? <laughs> All right, that's a new door. So, yeah, thank you, Creamy K. Welcome. What do you need? I need you to back off. I got a delivery for you, Sergeant. It's weapons, contraband, from your kids. What is this? Wait, it's belonging to my kids. I gave these to them. How'd you... Oh, no, you can't be fucking serious. That's right, I stole from them. What have you done to my children? I swear to Christ, if you've even fucking touched them. What I did to them is of no concern to you. Their next delivery will be their heads. Maybe, maybe I'll escalate a bit more. I was just talking about escalation of force. Maybe I'll send you some fingers, then I'll kill them and send you their heads. Oh my god, you are serious. Alright, tell Malachi to name his price. I, I won't give him any more trouble. I, just leave my children alone. I didn't even tell you who I was sent by. You had no idea. You just made an assumption. Who's Malachi? I'm with the NCR Regulatory Bureau. We're investigating you for corruption. Who's Malachi? Who's Malachi? Who's Malachi? Sorry, I'm shooting you, but I can't actually see. Oh, Dark Hero. Well... How's that change the quest? Tell Malachi that I killed Sergeant Grady. <laughs> tell Malachi that I killed Sergeant Granger and that... Sergeant Granger is ready to cooperate. Yeah, I'll go ahead and do that. Why not? Before I go back in time and, you know, break everything a bit more. Where the hell is this guy? Yo, Malachi. You ain't in here. Pointing me here, but it's not... It's not where I'm going, apparently. Oh, there you are. What's the word, Bloodhand? 
I cut to the chase and just killed that son of a bitch. He wasn't expecting me to do that, not voice. Well, I certainly hope you are fucking quiet about it. Not quite the plan I was going with, but I guess it's gotta get done, it's gotta get done, and it's, it's done now. He's not a problem now, is he? No, he's definitely not a problem anymore, but now we need to find a replacement for him. Since you didn't follow directions on this, I'm gonna leave it up to you to be our recruiter. Go back to the embassy and talk to Captain Jacobs. He's the man I was planning on having replace Granger, just in case I couldn't get the son of a bitch to work with me. All right, I'm on it, Mel. What are we gonna pay this guy? We were paying Granger 300 caps a week, and now every now and again we killed someone for him. I'm sure Jacobs will go for the same deal. I know this will sound strange coming from me, but try not to kill this guy. You know, just like I didn't want you to kill the last guy, you son of a bitch. Well, what a surprise. Like, this mod... <laughs> to its credit, you know, two hands here. On one hand, this mod actually has a follow-up objective if you just killed him instead of just going, Oh, you killed him? Well, well I guess we'll move on and ignore that. No, oh, you actually got... Got a, you actually got a different little, like, different way the quest can diverge. That's very nicely done. On the other hand, you never anticipated someone would actually take that quest line, so you never voiced this character's lines for that part of the quest line. So, good and bad. Let's go ahead and load before we kill this man. You know how Zack would do gun rants? How would Zack take it if he looked at the guns that were in the Gundam series? He might have a few things to say, possibly. What do you need? I need you to back off, Sergeant. I'm gonna kill your children if you don't back off, that's right. Okay. And now we can head back without having killed this man. I heard you stopped the Omerita's plan to attack the Strip. Good job, you're a real hero. Thanks, Private Irwin. Who are you? What have you heard? I know people think I'm a little on the wild side, but I'm just trying to have fun, you know? Just because I happen to get into fights and like to pull pranks doesn't mean anything. Wanna play some caravan? Bring it on, buddy. Ha! Huh, I don't have 30 cards. Joke's on you. Never picked up that... <laughs> never picked up that caravan deck from Ringo six years ago. When I got this assignment, I was, I was hoping, hoping there'd be more gambling. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is a Bethesda game. You can't kill children. Oh, just watch me. Well, I mean, technically, isn't everybody somebody's child? So, there you go. And back to base, and back to manhole. You don't want to leave this world until Zack has a gun rights on the weapons from Red Dead 2. I don't know if he's actually played it. Those Red Dead games. I haven't played the second one. I, I beat the first Red Dead Redemption game. It's a good game. Really enjoyed that. Maybe one day I'll get around to playing the second one. But I don't know. I mean, people say the Red Dead Redemption second game is good, but the first one set a really high bar. Hey, this guy doing the step on the Stairmaster here. What's up? Greetings, Blood Hand. Greetings, Split Face. The Sergeant caved. He said to name your price. I suggest he pays you. So, the Sergeant decided it wasn't worth the risk then? Good. I'm glad that's taken care of then. Nice work, Blood Hand. I think you deserve another promotion. Well, what? I hereby promote you to the owner drink of Death Song Knight. Here, take this. Consider it the badge of your station. That's not what your subtitles are saying. Now go take a break, and when you're rested, we'll talk more. So, this quest seems a little bugged. Did the quest update properly, though? Because your subtitles were not working properly there. Hold on. Go talk to Captain Jacobs because Sergeant Granger is dead. That's not right. Let me try that one more time in case. Maybe I can avoid that. It was very odd. Would have been nice if Zack and I played some Halo together. Yeah, that would be pretty cool. But I don't think either of us really grew up with it. Maybe he, he may have played more of it than I did. This guy's got to repair the vending machine. <laughs> Making him do the grunt work. Is he in here? Can I talk to him? Hopefully it actually works this time. He's, there he is. All right, so we'll try this again. Yo, death song. What's the word, Bloodhand? So the sergeant came, he said name your price. So, the sergeant decided it wasn't worth the risk then? Good. I'm glad that's taken care of then. Nice work, We're still Bloodhand. not going to work with him anymore. I, I simply can't trust the bastard promotion. to do what we need him to do. Oh, okay. Besides, I think Bruiser really wants to kill him. Night. Bruiser fucking hates that Dude. bastard. Well, I have I'll a replacement a in mind. His name is and Captain Jacobs. Will... Okay. We were paying Granger, so now kill... Every now and again, we killed someone for him. I'm sure Jacob's going for this. Okay, so. I just finished giving this quest credit for having an alternative solution. And as it turns out, that's just the one solution. He always suggests or requires you to set up a different contact. Well, way to make me look like a fool. I just finished praising you, mod. Also, set up my room already, will you, damn it? Railroads me anyway. Yep. <laughs> I am very surprised to learn that the Switch still has, uh, th that the Red Dead Redemption 2 game is on Switch. It also has, what, Witcher 3? 
There's got to be some playback issues with that, right? I mean, that's a big game, and the Switch ain't that powerful. But then again, those games are, what, a decade old at this point? Feels like they're pretty new games. Whoa! Feels like they're pretty new games, but I guess they are kind of a decade old at this point, so the Switch should be able to run them somewhat, right? <laughs> Venomorph is an enigma. All right, let's go set up a new contact and maybe kill this guy while we're here. So, setting up a con- Am I just gonna- I'm just gonna kill this guy, aren't I? Hello! You know I'm here, right? What are you doing here? He said, not being voiced. Looking for you, Captain Jacobs. The Death Song Brotherhood sent me for you. Oh, fuck. I know who you guys are. My fellow co-worker is always sending you information. Are you here to kill me? I'm not here to kill you. I'm here to talk to you about taking over the work Granger did for us. But he is not dead. Yet. What do you mean, yet? Oh, I get it. Granger kind of kept you guys off NCR's radar, I take it. Well, I can do that, too. I was looking through his files on you guys. It's pretty obvious. I think I could be persuaded to handle the same service. Make sure your names never make it to any of the reports and such. That would be it, right? Yes, you would keep the NCR off our backs. How's 300 caps per week sound? That would work for me, but I also would need a favor every now and then. What kind of favors? The kind of favors that keep your group in business. I might need people to disappear every now and again. I don't know why I picked up this accent, say. It'd be nice to have you guys on retainer, as it were. Your terms are acceptable, as long as the favors are reasonable. Of course, I'm not going to ask you to kill an ambassador or a president or anything, but there is someone I have in mind. There's a psychopath friend that keeps harassing our patrols, called herself Snipper. She got the name because she dis did some stuff to genitalia. Anyway, I would really appreciate it if they were to disappear. I know the patrols, so here they are. Where do I find this woman? She is last seen in the South Vegas ruins. I was just there killing fiends. We lost a man when she attacked her patrol. All right. And also, he's not here. Oh, wait. It's you. That that's Jacobs. Where's the guy I'm supposed to kill? Where's this guy I'm supposed to kill around here? Damn it. I guess he just got disabled from the game files. It's kind of unsatisfying. I was just giving carte blanche to kill this guy. Now I can't do it. Oh, well. Door. 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 That's just a black closet. Is it you? Hey. Patrolling the Mojave. Nope. Make okay. We're out of here. We're going to kill Snipper over here at the Sunset Sarsaparilla. You hope <laughs> maybe this person will use a Snipper riffle. I'm going to see us coming a mile away and start shooting at us, maybe? Nope. Yeah. Gang of fiends, though. That's right. Don't use, don't use, don't use, don't use first-person view. Ooh, yeah, they are now all dead. And that uh, no sniper rifle whatsoever. Tell Jacobs that this person is dead. All right, back to base. Is that a sonic robot? It may be. It may be. Strangest Roomba you've ever seen. How you feeling about that, Roomba? So, Roomba, let's chat. What are your thoughts on the NCR? Ah, but what about the Legion? What a deep and meaningful conversation. I'll have to pick your brain later. Back at ya. Ugh, speaking of Dusty. Okay, I, I haven't heard much about this mole going on. You know, kind of a thing that should be following up on, right? This is actually kind of a long quest mod, more than I thought it was gonna be. What's going on? Nope, not talking to you, goodbye. Talking to you, mayhaps. What's the word, Bloodhound? Not talking to you. Nope. Hold on. Tell Jacobs that the I'm a fool. I need to go back to the NCR embassy. Hold on. Ahem. What do you need? You don't. You don't have to worry about that person anymore. She dead. That's good news. Thank you. Your group won't have to worry about the NCR taking notice of you. Now I'm Scottish. I'm just trying on different accents to see which ones I like. I think it's going to be a pleasure working with y'all. I gotta go. Fairly well. And away I went. This way. When am I going to get my own cookie? A ducky cookie. I do like cookies. Get a duck-shaped cookie. Get a duck cookie cutter, maybe. Now we're going back to base. Yeah, this mod is a lot long. Mod is a lot longer than I thought it was going to be. I've been playing for what, good three, four hours at this point. I mean, streamed yesterday and streamed it today, and there's gunshots going on over there. Fiends. Looks like fiends. Ignoring that. Yeah, we might have to put a pause on this and continue it a bit later. If it's, uh, I mean, we haven't even touched on this mole yet. No idea. How much longer this particular quest mod goes on for? I am getting kind of tired though. Need to start packing it in. Now I report back into you. Greetings, Bloodhand. Captain Jacobs has taken over for Granger. That is lovely news. I think that Captain Jacobs will do nicely. 
You have done well, Bloodhand. I hereby promote you to the honored rank of Death Song Knight. Take this. Consider it the badge of honor. Ah. Now go take a break, and when you're rested, we'll talk some more. Ah, but I'm ready now. Your voice may have been giving out, though. All right, no, Death Song Knight perk added. Ooh. Death Song Cow added. If I get, like, a, a Death Song career... Not like, if I get a Death Song casual outfit that replaces this one that I'm always wearing, it's like... If I just have this outfit with the Death Song insignia on the front, like a, a bullseye on my chest, I will wear that. I will wear that instead for a while. Okay, so you didn't give me anything in that regard. You need a weapon? I don't, I don't know what you gave me. You gave me something. I know you gave me a perk. Uh, which we are here. An Angel of the Lord. I have no idea what mods are currently adding perks, so let's just cycle through them all. There's probably a few of them. Which ones are not vanilla? I have no idea, but I'll just keep poking. An Angel of the Lord. 25 more pounds of carrying equipment. Hope is your companion, so you have a decreased chance of chem addiction. And your health recovery goes up. A Camel of the Mojave. That's vanilla. Vanilla, vanilla, vanilla. Death Song. Okay, so I can run 10% faster. I can kill humans like no one's business, so I do more damage to humans and non-feral ghouls. Weapon attack speed increased. Good, good, good. As long as you have Death Song Knight dog tags on you, your action points regenerate faster. Oh, that's an interesting caveat. Curious. I went from Scottish to Indian. I don't know why I do have that tendency. I don't know why my Scottish accent just evolves into an Indian accent. I don't know. Yes, I'm a cannibal. Uh, let's see, that's that. Emergency Surgeon. Delilah's knowledge of emergency weapon medicine has given you benefits. I can now see people's health. My limb damage is reduced by 25%. Radiation and poison resistances. That's cool. A lot of perks here. A lot of perks. Implants. Infiltrator. I'm sure there's a few more. Yeah. Mojave MD. I can now see people's health thanks to Delilah. Uh, while Delilah is a companion, my chems last longer. While Moderson is my companion, I can carry more weight, and I got more damage resistance, and I get plus two in science. Nifty. Not really. Uh, music Massacre. Pencils Rule. Completing this challenge has shown that I love carrying around little junk, so they're, it's pretty easy to carry around pencils now. Ranger Takedown. While Eve is my companion, I deal 20% more damage with fire-based weapons. Fun, fun, fun. A lot of stuff. Survival expertise. Axemen can help you craft campfire recipes anywhere in the wasteland. I get plus 50 survival when crafting with Axeman's assistance. So oh, brother. While Russell is my companion, I can now move, move faster when sneaking and delivering additional damage with rifles. I have terrifying companion. Oh, when I've got Billy as a companion, I get plus 30 to speech. <laughs> All right. Terrifying presence. Tunnel runner. Eve's melee attacks are 20% faster. <laughs> when Dean is my companion, he grants me a short period of time before the toxic cloud. Yep. Eliza's enthusiasm for spray and, take, spray and pray tactics has given us an automatic weapon boost. Okay, a lot of things. That was a lot to cycle through there. New task. Hello, Death Song Knight. I'm being raised in quick, very quickly, aren't I? Yes, you are a Death Song Knight. The last person who rose in rank this quickly is, was Victoria, but even she wasn't as fast as you. How did you get the name Death Song? Whoa! Says Mario. I used to sing old tunes while I was taking care of Tom Trek, so Bruiser and Wilkes started calling me Death Song. The name fit and I went with it. The NCR aren't the only ones who would be interested in shutting us down. How do you stop, I, I don't know, the Legion, Mr. House? Bribes, plain and simple. If you live long enough, you'll find this wealth and power out in the, the fuel of the world. What's next? Now that the sergeant is taken care of, it's time to deal with this fucking rat problem. Rat, rat prob. The mole. We're finally dealing with the mole. According to the note we found in the paladin, the, the, the father's name was Saul. I don't know where we're gonna find him, but I know someone who might. Where? Herbert in Freeside. Got a lot of dirt on people, apparently. Go talk to him and see if he can point us in the right direction. Okie dokie, I'll be on my way. I'm on it, Mal. Herbert's a fucking snake. He'll rub you blind if he gets the chance, so be careful. Okie dokie. I'll keep my gun at the ready and my companions will also keep their guns at the ready and also my robot will also be there. Not, I mean, I'll run into him maybe. I don't really have a gun. Isn't Herbert the name of the tree growing out of Harold's head? Many things can be named that... That same thing. Where is Bad Motherfucker? I don't think I have a Smashburg, do I? Yeah. Oh, there it is. 
Your melee and critical attacks do more critical damage. So we do have bad motherfuckers back. Yeah, I'm getting tired. It's been a long day. I woke up early for no apparent reason. Uh, free sides, north gate. All right, this will be the last quest we do for the night, and then I'll have to call it because I'm getting tired. We'll have to finish this. Oh, maybe next Friday. Oh. Free sides, a dangerous place. My and then there's this guy right here, Hirschnerg. Fergus, hoes, bros. Yep. That's what I always tell people, but they just don't listen. Keeping an eye out for that rat. Uh, some children patrolling around town. We got Come to Mick and Ralph's for all your shopping needs. We got the Mick and Ralph's crier. We got the bearded it prostitute. Can be it can be we got a gang of kids here. He's kind of cute, isn't he? Who is he? I wish he'd quit running. Come to Mick and Ralph's for all your shopping what needs. What are you doing? We're gonna have rat tonight. You're all, all, all three of you are supposed to be chasing a rat, eh? We've got stuff we're not even allowed to sell, people. Only at Mick and Ralph's. Who's, who's this guy? Who's this guy that's glitched in here? All right, whatever. Okay, down here. Come on down. Get your picture taken with Ronald McDonald. At the, at the, the atomic range. Apparently, that's where I'm going. Time to cause some trouble in the Wrangler. Might have to find myself a card game in here, Chief. Very tempting. You're welcome to, but we're not going to stay here very long, so make it a quick one. Like, uh, I don't know, Blackjack? Those rounds take pretty quick. Got some dancers here. It's a very populated area. The Atomic Rambler is the most happening place outside the Strip. Hello, Apocalyptic Rex Fox. Sup, you? You looking for a good time? No. Bye. You're lost. When will I tell Zach that Petroleum Hobby makes him wish for a nuclear winner? Ah, he tell him that every day before we start recording. He doesn't like that. He doesn't I get that playing cards and he doesn't get the joke. Fun, but don't you get tired of losing? No way. The way I see it, losing makes it all the more sweeter when you win. You'd probably get sick of playing if every hand was a blackjack. I might get sick of playing cards, but I sure as hell won't get sick of the caps. You bet we'd kill the fiends leader. So you. Hey, kid. Whatever you need, I probably got it. And if I don't got it, I can probably get it. So what is it you need? I need information. I need to find a man named Saul from the Brotherhood of Steel. Oh, yeah? Well, I might be able to, and I might not. I guess you could say it depends on what's in it for me. How about I don't blow your brains out with my immense strength? Why would this be a strength check and not like a guns check or something? I don't, I don't know. I'm gonna beat you up with my gun! Look, you don't scare me, kid. I've scrapped with bigger and better. If you want to know what's gonna cost you... How about 100 caps? Sounds just fine, kid. Okay, that works too, I guess. So, what do you know, bro? Look, all I know is the guy's trying to clear his son's name. I heard he was heading for the Repcon offices. Maybe you can catch him there. Maybe I will. So, what can I do for you, kid? What you got for sale? I got all kinds of shit. No, but seriously, what do you got for sale? Uh, you got ammo, you got some spiked knuckles, you got some, you got a green beanie. Got some wine, a dinner plate, a lot of garbage. What do you know about Freeside? What's the word? Watch your back and stay on the king's good side. Other than that, Freeside's a fucking dump. What else is there to know? What do you do for Herbert? What? So what do you do, Herbert? I mostly deal in goods, you know. It's a decent living. But I gotta tell you, kid, nothing brings in the bucks like good information. All right, I should be heading out now. I gotta go. Goodbye. See you around, kid. And away I left, past all the strippers and prostitutes and all these other ne'er-do-wells and bags of scum and people that maybe... Hello. You looking for a good time? Hello. No, leave me alone. I, I just want to gamble. Herbert says that Saul is still trying to clear his son's name and is looking for evidence in the Repcon offices. Go find him there. Outcast Paladin's father, Saul. Okay. So... Repcon headquarters is kind of an abandoned dump. I don't know why anything is going on over here. I can take out some target practice on this robot, though. Oh, yeah. Good luck target practicing when you're not able to see the actual enemies. Sup, robots? Don't mind me. I'm just going in here, apparently. Yep. Uh, new elevator? New elevator. Who dis? Have you come to kill me too, murderer? Yes. Assassin, actually. Only if you don't tell me who is leaking information to you. Tell me. I am tasked with finding out who is the mole in the organization, and they've been talking to you, apparently! You murder my son. You murder his brothers-in-arms. 
And now you want me to help you? Give me a name. Do it. I knew you were misguided, but I didn't know you were a fool as well. Willow, hold him down. Why should I help you after you've taken away everything I hold dear? Russell, get the pliers. Motorbot, get the electrical currents, the batteries. Don't waste my time, old man. Just tell me who it is. Uh, if I hear you're trying to clear your son's name. What if I help you first? Wait, hold on now. I'll kill you if you don't. That's why. It should be a good enough reason, right? Your threats mean nothing to me, child. Everything that meant anything to me is dead already. Why should I fear joining them? Just tell me who it is, please! I don't think so, assassin. I'd rather die than help you. How about I help you and then you help me? I hear you're trying to clear your son's name, so what if I helped you out first? I have no reason to trust you, and yet I have no recourse. Fine. You have a deal, assassin. If you can find a way to clear my son's name, I will tell you all I know about your traitor. You have my word. Okay, so how will I do that? To help me, you'll need to know some of the details. My son was accused of selling intel to the Enclave. I know that he didn't, but someone did. The Enclave does not exist anymore. That someone is probably the same person who hired you to kill my son. Most likely to cover his own tracks. Find out who hired your organization. <laughs> and you'll find out why my son was falsely accused. You can't call him a human turkey. That's just silly. Anything. Yeah, you will be. I gotta go. Don't come back unless you find something useful. And then we do an F5, and then we start shooting you. Tell us the information we want to know right now. Tell me. What if I just... See that? What if I destroyed the only lead? How will the uh, Death Song Brotherhood react to that? Oh. Plot critical. Can't be killed. Well, I know the answer to that now. The contingency was planned for by not letting it exist. So now we're going to find information. Uh, okay, in the strip apparently. I was really worried I'd have to find information to clear his, his name down in the Brotherhood base, which which would have been difficult since it's all blowed up. We don't talk about Portland. Is that just uh, another Disney song from Encanto? We don't talk about Portland. No, no. Nice looking place here. I mean, that building out there in the distance, maybe not as nice, but in general, everything is looking pretty good. Look away and then look back and nope, still busted. Look away and look back and okay, this is starting to cause, there we go. Now the Gamora's not looking awful. A lot of folks here on the strip. I'd wager that the army's sending elite units our way. Looking to win big. Oh, you're not gonna take my guns? Uh, okay, I'm stuck in one spot. So, you're gonna talk to me? Hold on. You gonna talk to me or what? Okay, apparently not. Okay, we can freely move now. I'm not sure why I didn't get checked when I came in here. Just got... Alright, that was... Is it... Is it because I've been using the back door entrance all this time and now it's starting Find to cause some problems? A a guy. Have some fun. That might be the issue. You should. Okay, I am back now. Hello, Death Song Knight. I need to know who ordered the hit on the paladins. Why am I... Wait. Okay, yeah. So if I help him out, and he'll help me out, and then we're helping each other out. Who ordered the hit on the paladins, I'm curious. And why do you need to know that? Because I have to help this old man to get the information out of him. It's it's this really complica complex, complicated thing where I give him information, then he gives me information, and then we all got information. I don't like this at all, but I'm certainly not going to... I'm certainly not in the habit of handing out clients' names, but if there's no other way... His name was Dominic, a scribe, if I remember correctly. This is dangerous territory, so be careful. And now that I have that information, I will use it and possibly get ambushed? How are things going to play out now? Can I get this room yet? Still requires a key. Damn. Maybe I just got to talk to that one person again. Got to talk to Oak one more time. Or maybe I just got to wait 24 hours. I don't know. Ooh, it's so bright out. Oh, it's so blindingly bright out. Back to Repcon, because we got a name. Is it the actual information? We don't know. But it's information nevertheless. Pardon me, robots. Don't mind me. Just skedaddling on into this. Oh, hey. Working on that. Take, taking pictures of that first aid thing, eh? Hello again, assassin. Howdy. The man who ordered the hit on your son was a scribe named Dominic. Dominic, he haunt the Christmas donkey. Dominic, hee -haw. Where can I find him? Dominic? How could he do this? We've been like brothers for 30 years. I asked him to personally oversee the investigation of my son's death. 
you trusted the wrong person. He's probably there right now, covering up his tracks. You have to get there fast before he leaves. Catch him red-handed? Would you like to join me? Of course you wouldn't. And away he slid in grief, calling out to the door that would not respond back to him. Who am I to criticize the behavior of somebody who is very clearly in mourning? I gotta get there fast, so thank goodness for Sonic's flesh. Past all the dead Meyer lurks. Back up here, I believe, is the fastest way. Sonic Meat, don't fail me now! <laughs> Making me run so fast, I'm gonna trip down this hallway. R wrong way, wrong way. I gotta go up. That's right. Take a cave over a vault any day. Caves usually have critters, which are not creepy. Vaults? Creepy. Vaults are creepy, and this cave does have critters. Oh no, my Sonic Meat wore off! When am I going to do an audiobook reading? Once my voice becomes more tolerable to myself, that's when. So never. Hello, everybody. So, maybe down here? Why am I working with the assassins? Because I'm infiltrating them for the NCR, as far as anybody else knows. Uh oh. I forgot about that landmine. Or the person who came back planted more. Probably the former, though. Careful, guys. We're trying to catch this guy red handed so we can't escape. So, you know, don't announce your presence like this. Uh, assassin's leather armor, and yeah, the guy's done all right. Where is this? Oh, trick shotgun. You've done well, Dominic. You've certainly proven your loyalty to the Enclave. The information you've gathered should help us immensely. I'm happy to have been of service. We should go now. If I stay any longer, I might raise suspicions. Yes, I think you're right, Dominic. Do you understand your orders? I will go over them once more before I destroy the hollow disk. Please do! Very good. I will see you at our next meeting. Don't forget to plant those files on the son's body. What are you doing in here? How long have you been there? I just got here. I'm just here to scav- I was actually just looking to scavenge. You guys don't mind, right? I'm afraid I can't let you do that. Nothing personal. And then I shot you to death. And then this Enclave soldier Broke is- you. Try to grab a lair. Willow, do you not have a gun? And we'll just, uh, apparently we're gonna devour you a little bit first, and then we're gonna search your inventory, just, you know, for fun. Adding insult to injury, I'm not normally a cannibal, but you know, if you're, if you're, if you are gonna eat somebody, might as well be an enclave soldier, you know? And another Rainier AK! Oh, I didn't even get a chance to use it. And, uh, okay, we got some stuff here. We got a lot of stuff here. Amendment, Alpha, so much of. Paragraph 321, pertaining to real okie dokie. Collect details of facility layout and defense systems. Okay, I'm guessing this is the information I needed. Major Williams, I have brought you out of stasis because there is much to be done and not enough hands to do it all. I believe you understand the gravity of the situation. I believe this because I served with your father, Colonel Williams, who was a great man, even better officer. I am busy working towards restoring the Sleeping Sands facility. I need you to gather intel on the Brotherhood, the NCR, everyone else. We need to know our enemies, so do that. I especially want you to obtain the information about the... AI control systems from the Brother to Steel. Also kill this one guy. You have your orders. Take Dominic's orders and evidence of evidence files back to Saul so I can figure out who the traitor in the organization is. Yes. Let's do that. I'm, I'm just gonna... I know I shouldn't. I know I shouldn't be abusing controls like this. Someone has murdered Saul! No! See, this is what I get for using console commands. This is what I get. Oh wait, why is he here? Oh, that's right, this is, this is the area. Hold on, I'm, I'm just gonna... Nope, apparently I didn't activate an autosave there. All right, fine, whatever, back up. Not sure why Saul is in this particular room, but Saul is indeed dead. All right, I, I need to not abuse console commands. Yes, I think you're right, Dominic. Sorry, I'm using a controller, not very accurate. Yes, I know my orders. Dead. don't even know it. To die. Don't forget to loot the bodies. Yeah, okay. And now we leave and we don't break everything. I did that accidentally too many times. So, you know. Don't want to do it more than I need to. Although, it would be nice if I could find my way out of here. Pizza party in my New Vegas hotel room. That's where I'm headed. Aw, yeah. How's everyone in town doing today? Having a good time? Maybe after I've seen the Mojave, I'll come back here to live for a while. Wouldn't it be fun to stay in one of the little bungalows at the motel? It would, Willow. It would be a lot of fun to stay in one of the bungalows. Oh, wait! That's what I have right here. Oh, this one requires a key. I haven't been in this one. Well, 
you know, sometimes you got to keep Zach locked out because you don't know what he's going to do. You leave an upper decker in my toilet because he's... It's just how he, he does sometimes. I guess I'm going back to Repcon. Right. I'm not sure why I was... Was I in the NCR embassy to find Saul's body? That seems weird. Take this elevator. Yeah, this is where he should be. Oh, this is where we teleported to. Someone has murdered Saul. Yeah, I see that. Holotag, his laser, and a holodisc. Saul's note. Well, damn, he was going to give us information, and now we don't have no information. Don't think that because Elias's men killed one of the assassins that it's over. They'll soon be coming for him again. This time, they're sending the courier. They're dangerous, so watch out. Blood Rose. Blood Rose. We have a name, maybe? Maybe. So, basically, our lead is dead. Tell Malachi that Saul was murdered before I could find out who was giving him information. Yeah. It's unfortunate. That's not the place I wanted to go to. Do not go in this hole. I need to go to the manhole. That's right. Hey, how y'all doing over here? Oh, we got random Brotherhood of Steel initiates, despite the fact that uh, they should not be alive anymore because I've blown up their bunker. Fighting a Nightkin. Oh, wow. There's four of you guys. Your whole fire team, huh? Not my circus. I should be leaving. Someone's skull there. Gross. I went the right way. I'm just gonna fast travel there. Blood Rose sounds like the edgy teenager who listens to too much Bullet for My Valentine. Eh, hey, you know, I enjoyed that back in the day. Good music. Bullet with my name on it. Bullet. It's probably not the same band. <laughs> it's probably... I, I am not good when I... Believe it or not, I don't know my music just like I don't know my movies. Bullet with the name on it for my Valentine. Bullet with a name. Okay, Malachi. I got bad news and more bad news, right? That's kind of the trend of what I've been doing here, right? Bad news, bad news, bad news. You, you must be lapping this up. Promote me! Hello, Death Song Knight. Someone murdered the old man before I could get information out of him. It's a real damn shame. Fucking fuck. This shit is starting to fucking piss me off, goddamn rat cocksucker. Did you manage to find anything we could use? I did find these files and this hollow disk on Dominic, but man, watch your language. Do you kiss your mother with that mouth? You do? You give her some deep tongue? I would expect no less from you, Malachi. I also found this note on the traitor. On Saul. At least that's fucking something for all this trouble. I'll look through these and see if there's any useful information on them. Come on. <laughs> Here, take this. It's a little something for all of your trouble. You gave me something. All right, what'd you give me? Is it a new armor? I don't think so. Here, I'm just going to drop this garbage here at your feet. Yeah, I'll put that on and that on and uh, I'll drop everything else off. Why not? Sure. Don't need all that stuff. Weapons? I'll I'll just quick select that. Yeah, I'm not sure what you gave me, if anything. Elias's Bane, maybe? No, I don't think so. Maybe it was some aid. I wasn't paying attention. So, what's next? I poured over the files you brought back. His voice. And the only thing of use I've found is the reference to the traitor, Blood Rose. Blood Rose, yes. I have a fairly decent idea of who that might be. It is a rather feminine name. However, it's not enough to be sure. Seems like you're making an assumption here. Victoria's been trying to get me to take on some contracts she's found. I've told her we don't take contracts from clients I haven't met personally. And she won't give up the details on who these clients are. Suspicious. But now that I'm trying to find out if she's hiding something, I want you to take them on. Go talk to her. Feel out the hits, and talk to each of the targets before you kill them. One of them may have information that's useful to us. Yeah, maybe. I guess I can do this. But, uh, I'll have to put a... I'll have to put a pin in it, because I'm getting kind of tired. You put, you sent me on a lot of missions. Ooh, top secret. Look at this. Unique. Brotherhood of Steel top secret files. A yoink. A yoink. A yoink. I know I just gave these to you, but I'm taking them back, because that one had a custom asset. Very, very nice looking custom asset. A lot of custom assets in this mod. I like it. You know, I, I kind of, I'm not a big fan of how streamlined this mod is, how it's very linear and there's not a whole lot of different ways to approach how you Good handle quests. It's, it's, it's very straightforward. You're going down a very linear hallway, but it's not bad. I'm having a fun time with it. Might even see it on the channel sometime in the future. You know, this is, it's a shame it's not all voice acted, but it's, Majority voice acted. I can always go into the Gek and add a couple of voice lines to fill out the characters that aren't voiced, you know? You know, that's never disconcerting. It's never off-putting whenever I do that and suddenly a character who's got a different voice suddenly starts speaking with my voice. No, that's never a weird thing to happen. Hello, Outtake Jake. Who is that guy from the Venom movie? Yeah, that's, that's a unique character, all right. A unique character with a unique armor in this game. 
What do I think of your companion? I think he's fun. I think he's a fun little bug companion. Little novel. Just a nice asset to have. We balance around Novak for a bit. We'll use him for a bit. Maybe Zach will use him for a bit. And then he'll, he'll have some fun in the town of beloved yet neglected companions. We'll always have a home for you, little moto bug. Yeah, good work on him. Nice custom model and everything. I, I don't play a lot of Sonic, but yeah, I'm pretty sure this is... Uh, Pretty identical to what the character looks like in those games. So yeah, well done with that. Mike with an Irish accent is just plain weird. Yeah, I don't do it very often. I don't I have to channel some characters, but uh, my accent just kind of comes and goes, and then sometimes it's a bit too much, and sometimes it gets it, it, it transmogrifies into something else. It's not entirely Scottish, but who knows what it is? Who knows what it is? As an Irish man, my <laughs> accent cracks you up every time. I'm glad to amuse you. That's what I'm here for, right? It's what I—it's what—it's my primary focus when I'm doing these streams is to entertain people. So the fact that I can bring a smile to your face with my terrible, awful, no good, very bad accent, is uh, feels like it's a, a commendation for me. It turns from Irish to Scottish to Minnesotan. I have to—I have to imagine an Irish character in my mind and try to channel them. What about Jin from Yu Yu Hakusho as one of them? Yes, I'll, I'll, hey, Yusuke, you be, you be flapping your wings, you be homing, you be here and you're huffing. It's, it's like, that's, that's not even, that's not even English. I, I kissed her, her she kissed, kissed my robot. So, Willow. Hey, bud, what's up? Can you believe we've been dating for a month or something like that? I don't know. Yes, we've been together for a month now, and I have a present for you to celebrate. Thank you. What is it? It's kind of corny and romantic. Is it another new dance? Hopefully, you'll like it enough to wear it, because I want you to think of me every time you do. Oh, wait, is it the sunset? And remember this. Star? You hold the key to my heart. Oh, it's a it's a keychain. Key necklace. That That's right. That's right. Keep your distance. Try to flank them. Oh, flank, flank, flank. I hate it back there. You're just so far away. Yeah, stand back. Just kidding. Stay close to me. Okay. Okay, let's go. I'm ready. Let's go. We're just going to leave this body right, right in front of the entrance. If you ever get lost, hey, if you're trying to find the Death Song Brotherhood's secret entrance, just take a left at that burned-out husk of a car, and then take a right at that decaying, desiccated body. It's got some rigor mortis in it. You'll find the manhole. It's right there. You can't miss it. Where's that key to my heart necklace? Does it even work with this? It does not. No. Kind of. Yep, there we go. Got the, the key to Willow's heart necklace how silly you don't imagine a leprechaun i don't know what a leprechaun sounds like all i really know is I... like the, the noise is like a little gremlin leprechaun makes because I, I guess maybe i could try to channel the lucky charms leprechauns heart heart stars and horseshoes clovers and blue moons pots of golden rainbows enemy red balloons yeah i could channel that but that doesn't help me a whole lot i think that we will call it for the night then yes it has been a fun mod and apparently there's still a bit left flushing out this mole is taking quite a bit of time so i will for now plan on doing more of this mod next friday if i don't have any time before then i might be able to squeeze in a bit more time but for now, we will plan on Friday continuing and perhaps finishing up this mod, unless it goes even further. This is all, you know, I complained about, or not really complained, but I, I lamented the fact that this quest line was somewhat linear, but also it goes on for quite a while, you know? On one hand, it's linear, which is sad, but on the other hand, there's a lot of it, which is great. So, yeah, bit of a mixed bag. Do the Rick and Morty version of the Lucky Charms Leprechaun? I don't remember that. I, I, I don't watch the interdimensional cable episodes all that much they're not my favorite episodes you just ordered the pizzas i don't need multiple pizzas i just need one or two slices you know you know all, you just save it for later you know you, you you take some leftover pizzas you put it on a frying pan you cook it up that way and it tastes really really good you know it's been a while since i've done it actually when i'm reheating pizza i usually just use my air fryer which is good but before i had that i would reheat pizza on the stove top, on a, on a, a, not a griddle, but you know, like a, a cooking pan, which is a really good way to prepare it. Really good way to reheat pizza. Do not use a microwave. It's soggy and it's sad. Once you start using the, the stove top, you never go back until you get an, a, a heater, an air fryer, because the, those things are magical. Really good. Thanks for stopping by, everybody. Thank you, Outtake Jake. Thank you for the kind words. You hope the 
Fallout show was good, and you can't wait to hear Zach complain about it. <laughs> yeah. 